You have Charlemagne the guy. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots <laughs> Podcast. And this week's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. This week's podcast is brought to you by Squarespace, baby. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Start a completely personalized website with the new guided design system, Squarespace Blueprint. Choose from professionally curated layout and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up. Tailored to your brand or business and optimize for every device. Easily launch your website and get discovered fast with integrated optimized SEO tools so you show up more often to more people and grow the way you want. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time, all in one place, all on your terms. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial when you're ready to launch. Go to squarespace.com slash idiots to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiots to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you, Squarespace. Let's start the show. Hezzy! Yo, how was your week, man? We took a week off uh, before 4th of July. Uh, what did you do? Where did you go? Oh, you was in the Hamptons? I was in the Hamptons. Okay. It was lovely. I had the boys out. We had a great time. Is that your happy place? It's, I mean, yeah, it could be. It could be. You know, the jury's still out. I really like it out there. Okay, I okay. I really like it, but I don't know if it impacts me the same way that Anguilla impacts you. That is my absolute happy place, yeah, man. Yeah. I've been going to Anguilla for over 11 years Skin now. Skin looks great, bro. Thank you, bro. Look, that melanin, that vitamin D. The ultraviolet rays from the sun, you fucking perverts. I'm Jesus not saying Christ. nothing. It's, why? I'm not, I didn't say anything. Yeah, I just that, looked was at the you looks around way. the room. That's what I thought that's you were talking about. That. I thought you were yeah. talking about the sun rays. Oh, I okay. thought it was literally the sun is rejuvenated. Yes, it did. I feel good. I feel rejuvenated. Son um, and the father probably spit roasted you. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> Put the Holy Ghost in you. <laughs> <laughs> and Gwil is my happy place, though, man. I, there is no, I, I can't think of no place that brings me more peace. Really? No. And and you did almost nothing, meaning it's, like it's, it's the, the the beauty of Anguilla. Yeah. And it's funny because I, you know, uh Nyla put together this little content piece, which is actually thing. I really am old, bro. Cause she keep telling me, like, yo, you know, content. I'm like, yo, put your phone down. I'm like, why? And she's like, no, content, content, content. And so I post this thing she made and it's literally people in my comments saying, okay, content. <laughs> <laughs> okay, IG influencer. Let me see. I'm like, what the? Hold go on. read Let the me, comments. Exactly. Go look. Because you don't put out stuff like that. You don't. Yeah. You said what? You don't put out stuff like that. I don't. I mean, I be enjoying the moment. I don't be caring about that kind of shit. Well, that's why you have someone else that does the content First, for you. Jessica Shanae, number one, give it up for my uncle in his white linen leisure suit. Number two, clap for the ill content he gives us. Love it. That's great. Um, okay content. That's AJ Holiday. Ashley was there, too. J my girl Courtney, okay IG influencer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm like, she had to get the barefoot dude cutting the coconut. That was... Oh, that was amazing. That was I, I, drank, I drank that fresh off the tree. You know what I'm saying? By the way, this is what I love. When they cut the coconut, they cut the coconut, and then you drink it, and then somebody goes, Oh, you look so happy. Look at you. Somebody ah. goes, try the meat. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got to try the meat. You got to try the coconut meat. Coconut bro. meat is fantastic. Coconut meat is fire. Oh, this is beautiful. I love Anguilla, but to your point, it is an island that you go to if you want to do nothing. Yes, it's not going to be full of activities. You're not going to be, you're going to be relaxing at the beach, chilling with your people. What do y'all want to do on vacation, though? That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't get when people say there's nothing to do in certain places. What do you mean? I, I need shit to do. I'll be honest but with you. But there's, there's water activities. You, like, you go into swimming. Like, there's lounges if you want to go hang out. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is it y'all want to do? I can't. Salute to the Lit Lounge. Yeah. Salute to Savi Beach. Yeah. You know, you go to the day shacks during the day, like Blanchards and Gwens. Like, yeah. what is it? What do you want to do? I went to Cabo with my wife. Uh, this was, forget how long ago. She was still pregnant. And um, it was rough. <laughs> really? And Cabo is just this beautiful, stunningly beautiful place. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we just did nothing but hang out and chill by the pool and the ocean. And nothing else. And you're just like waiting for your next meal. So you have somewhere to go. And like my mind, I literally had to just be drunk. <laughs> this just so that I, I could just be calm in this place. My brain isn't isn't built for that. I I don't know what else y'all want. I really don't. I like, like 
There's, there's, there's plenty of pa- packet ball. What do you call it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Packet ball. What's the shit you be yeah, talking about? Paddle, 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 paddle ball. Pickle you ball, know paddle, what I'm saying? Paddle, paddle. paddle like, ball, pickle ball. They got yeah. plenty of those around our Angola. Yeah. They got the Angola Tennis Academy. So it's a whole tennis oh, wow. academy. Oh, they got a whole tennis academy. Yeah. So you can go there and do your paddle ball and your pickle ball. See, that's what I could do. I could do what those guys do where they like, like I like playing paddle, but uh, where dudes go golf. So they'll go on vacation with their yeah, wives, yeah, their yeah, wives yeah. at the pool, and then they golf for like four or five hours. I, I see. I'm the ocean. I'm in. I'm the in the ocean guy for four yeah. or five hours. Oh, I would surf. Yeah, I'd surf. That's what I did with my, when, my wife when I was in Costa Rica. I would surf every morning and then the rest of the day, let's do whatever you want. But yeah. I got my activity out. But just to wake up and then go by the pool and then be like, all right, it's too early to start drinking. All right, I'll just Who sit says by the pool. you're on vacation? Ah, so you're waking up at like eight in the morning. You can't start ripping at eight. Mimosas. It's all about what you're drinking. That's a good point. So you got your mimosas. That's a good point. And then when you're on an island, rum punch, yeah. BBCs. Whoa. <laughs> with a rum topper? Yo, what? You don't like BBC what's with a, a rum BBC? topper? Yeah, what's... Bailey's banana and coconut. So it's the Bailey's cream with fresh bananas and coconut milk with a rum topper. Oh, my God. And it's white and frothy. Oh, incredible. <laughs> By the way... should have never talked so, about gay puns. Black people are so extra. That's the problem. Black <laughs> <laughs> people are only going to do something on 11... We had the gay fun on around like nine. <laughs> and then black people just did, done taking it to 20 to the point where I'm feeling uncomfortable with the gay Listen, shit. Listen, salute to my guy. There was a guy I met from Houston, <laughs> Texas. He was at Gwen's uh, Reggae Bar and Grill. I love Gwen. Salute to Gwen. Salute to Tap. Uh, the, the terrain, all of them over there. And I was at the bar <laughs> and he was telling me he came to Anguilla because of me. Right? Because oh, wow. he heard me talking about it. So he goes... Yo, what you just ordered? I said, a BBC with a rum topper. He goes, that's the gayest shit I've ever heard you say. And I listen to Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> So, so he was like that, and that that was the gayest thing I heard you say. A BBC with a rum topper. Nah. Okay. Nah. Salute to Anguilla, though, man. Love it there. That I love is, I love that you love it down that there. That is my happy place. I am absolutely when you when I retire, that is where you're gonna catch me 85, Wait, really? 90% of the time. You think absolutely. you live there? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm actively looking for property there now. Is there a, is there like a certain time of year that it's the best to be there? Is there ever like an inclement time of year? I've only been two times a year. I've been uh I go every summer, you know, for oh, my, really? around my birthday. Yeah. For, for the last eleven years, I've gone literally every and it's not too hot? Summer. No, I spent every birthday there over the last 11 years. Wow. And then I go uh, for, for I've been, I've been for holidays. So I've been for like Christmas and that Christmas, kind of New shit. Year's. Yeah, 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 yeah. I imagine in the winter, it's amazing. Winter's amazing. Expensive. Yeah. That's what it's expensive in the winter. Um, summer is actually their down year, their downtime. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, for me, I, I, I you know, like I said, summer and winter, I mean, it's, it's 80 plus degrees there all the time, but you buy the ocean, it's cool. It's like, yeah. It's fantastic, man. It's the greatest. I love it. It's my favorite place on earth. That's fire, man. And I've been to a, a, a quite a few different islands. And I'm going to visit a couple of more, but I've been to them all. So you really, when you retire, would move your whole family down there and Absolutely. live down there? Absolutely. Interesting. I'd move them there now. And then what about the kids? And like, I, I thought about this, right? Yeah. Great question. Formative years, one through 18, what do you think is the most important things you could provide for your child? Um... Internet. <laughs> <laughs> I think peace yeah. and stability. Yes, yes. And I think, you know, whatever foundational principles you instill in children are from 1 to 18. I feel like a place like Anguilla is a perfect place to do it. And then if they want to go live wherever they want in the world, they can, you know, because they've all they've had both experiences, right? Absolutely. They've had young, young experiences here in, you know, New York, New Jersey. And then you, you know, raise them on an island for the next however many years, I don't think it will hurt anything at all. Not at all. I think the only thing that people would say would be like... Schooling? Well, again, I'm sure they have some amazing school there that, you know, all the people go to. What are they teaching kids in grade school that they can't do without? (laughs) Like, like seriously. So let's, let's assume the schools are the same. Okay. What about, like, you know, your daughter is big into cheerleading. What if, for example, there's something one of your daughters was really passionate about that they didn't have, 
like an extended. But see, that's what she don't. She's sixteen. She's going. To, she's going to. I'm saying, what about your other daughters? Year. Like, what if you know they're young? So whatever they can get into, they'll figure that out there. There. And what know? if one of them loves ballet and should they take ballet class? And they then, got that there. What I'm saying is, there's going to be a level where they realize, holy shit, this girl's really talented. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, needs yeah. to go to the mainland. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, the, the the flip side to it is also that's not just an Anguilla thing. Like my wife grew up in Santa Barbara, and she really wanted to do ballet, and they just didn't have yeah, sufficient yeah, yeah. ballet stuff in Santa Barbara, so she had to go to a bigger city to yeah. go, you know, after her dreams. So that was that would be the only thing with children. Obviously, like their friend groups and that kind of stuff. Yeah. But I agree with you. Like it might even be safer for them, yes. being that they're your kids, to grow up in an environment where it was so communal that everybody just treated them like they were normal. Yes. Here, I'm sure some of them get treated like Charlemagne's daughters, which is like a different burden. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'm... I don't, I don't You're know. a famous person, man. Like, I never thought about it. You don't think? I, I, I honestly never thought about it. I really do. I'm not even joking. I've never thought about it. Shut I don't up, know. Charlotte. What? I've never thought about that type of stuff. I don't even want, I don't, I, be, I don't even present like that. Like, I, I, it's not about whether you do. It's, a, you know, they're related to somebody who is a lot of fame and influence. Uh, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't know. I can't, I, I don't know. I really don't. I have no idea. What you was going to say, Chris? Uh, I was just going to say, I was in Antigua to, to Andrew's point about limited resources in terms of what the kids can grow into. And I was talking to a guy who had made a lot of money, moved to Antigua and raised his kids there. And I kind of said the same thing. Aren't you concerned? And what he said, it was, well, I don't know if this is the case in Anguilla, but there's great sailing in Antigua. And he's like, actually, all my kids took up sailing because that's what they teach. It. That's the sport of the yeah, school. Yeah, you end up doing what is And around. he's like, they all got sailing scholarships to Ivy League schools. Oh, right. wow. And I was like, wow. all right. Like, that's a good point. Never also, I wow. mean, and then this is like a really... There's always a way around everything. For example, if your kid was really obsessed with a sport, they could go to boarding school during the year yeah. where they did that sport. Yeah. And then when they weren't at boarding school, just come live with you yeah. guys. I, I think it's something, too, growing up uh, in a place that has that level of peace. Uh, totally. I think I think we live in the United States. Not saying anxiety don't exist everywhere, because it does, but I do feel like we're in the United States of anxiety. Yeah. I think that there's so much fear-mongering their anxiety is that more happens real in that like if a hurricane comes, some shit yeah. is fucked up. Yeah. But our anxiety is like Project 2025. Yes. Like, I mean, I'm not saying that that's not a real thing. Or but it's like, like what, what about the comments on the page? The like, comments on Instagram, yes. Yeah, yes, like, yes, 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 yes. Shit. Shit that don't even really ultimately matter at the mm. end of the day. Mm. Yes. I, I don't know. But that's my happy place. I hope everybody finds their happy place, man. I get, Most people I know have a happy place. Like Duval is the Bahamas. Seems like yours is the Hamptons. I need some more time there. I really enjoy it. I, I, I thought I'd never say this in my life, but like I enjoy being in a backyard and just looking at fucking trees. There you go. Listening to birds yeah. and listening to fucking insects. You're ready or to start tree hugging. <laughs> Bro, I, I almost I, gay I, with me. You almost gay with me. You I right sit, there. You right there. I sit under a tree. No, I sit under yes. a tree with my daughter. And I just she'll sit on my lap and I'll just talk it's to life, man. Ask her questions. She don't answer. Throws up on my wrist. <laughs> Clean it life. up. It's a beautiful moment. It's bro. the life. Like what's better than that? I'm telling you, there's nothing, nothing better than that. The only only other place I love more than my backyard is the beach. <clears throat> Straight up. I yeah. love putting on the snorkel and looking under the water and just looking at these fish that are all of these different, unique colors, and you don't even know what the fuck they're thinking. They're not bothering you. You're not bothering them. Like, think about how much people I know what they're thinking. What are they thinking? He can swim? <laughs> <laughs> when did they start swimming? <laughs> they can't see color, though. <laughs> Holy shit. They, I don't believe fish eat color. But they can sense danger. You know what's so crazy about fish? Why would God make them such pretty, unique colors, but they can't see color? They got to see color, right? Now nah, the predators can see color. Just the predators? Really? Let me think about this. I think fish can see color. I've seen some beautiful they're, fish. They're not, they're not yo, I was dull. snorkeling, yo. It was a colony of fish. They were all zebra yeah, striped. What, it what was is, so beautiful. Yeah, what would be the advantage of having those colors? Like maybe you fit God just show it off. Yeah, sometimes he does do that, right? They're saying that fish do have some color awareness. They have uh, to. I also don't know how you could determine that. 
My, my, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like, yo, how the fuck don't you, you yo, know? Thank you for saying it. Sometimes they say shit. Yes, They'll no, say I shit about dogs. They're like, yeah, exactly. dogs are colorblind. The fuck? No, they're you not. Not. I told you that shit. They're yes. not colorblind, <laughs> man. No, they're not. How do, would you know if they're colorblind or not? Yeah, that wouldn't make no sense. Like, why would God uh, make you every... hold up different colors with food and they would... I yo, don't know. Can it's I bullshit. tell you something, Chris? It's probably bullshit. My, my podcast producer right here, Miles... Can't for see 23 color? years of his life, didn't even know he was colorblind. Really? What? He He's not a dog. Miles can't see color? No. What makes he him colorblind? He can see purple and gray. He can see all the other colors. Just That's not colorblind. Me. But only those two so, colors. So no. Barney and sharks, he can't see? No, it just blends in with This motherfucker has color. been color correct in our podcast for 20 years. <laughs> this blind motherfucker can't even... He How do we know he's telling the truth? Say again? How do we know he's telling the truth? Because we did a whole book where we the, you, there's like a colorblind thing that we brought up and yeah. I had him try to say what the numbers and letters were. It's a thing designed to see if you're colorblind. And this motherfucker was guessing. He was so insecure. He started just saying... <laughs> he was like, Q? We're like, you fucking blind <laughs> motherfucker. So he can't yeah. see purple. Purple and gray. Yeah, yeah. He just doesn't see color. So what does black and white movies look like to him? I mean, it's still black and white. Right. Charlie, he sees black and white. But you saying you don't see That's not gray, gray though. Different it, shades of gray. So, so what probably, about fifty shades start. of gray? <laughs> yeah, he don't see zero of them. Damn. So yeah. what, is, what is it? What's the color that? Why are you not talking into the microphone, Taylor? Sorry. Mm -hmm. What's the color that replaces the gray? He doesn't see it at all. There's nothing that replaces it. But my point is, we just found that out about him. So there's no way. I think dogs can see color. What I was believe. he insecure about, though? I think dogs can see color. What you mean? Purple and gray? Those aren't even colors you see all <laughs> Yeah, but if you're doing the video and editing video... You need to you... see all the colors. Also, it's not <laughs> yeah. just purple and gray. It was mad colors he couldn't see. Nah, oh, just... really? So we have video of it. Nah, that sounds like he said the N-word one time by accident. He's trying to get out of it. <laughs> I don't see color. <laughs> I thought I was brown. <laughs> My name is Miles, like Morales. I'm just saying. I don't know. I'm just saying. I don't know, man. But everybody find your happy place. That's the moral of the story. Uh, what else did we miss? What did we miss? All means necessary. Drake. Sad at Michael Rubin party. How this, pathetic. This is this this is why the internet is so fucked up. He uh, looks sad as fuck. If, if if he never has the Kendrick beef, nobody says this. No, he looks. Drake sad. has had this face. He looks <laughs> super old right here though. Yo. He looks sad. He doesn't. Yes, he does. Cause I seen other pictures and he his eyes weren't slanting like that. <laughs> Who said? <laughs> Who said? It was it you? Like out? He was looked the out? same to me. You say the thing he about don't. He somebody, looks so sad. Somebody said this, but like Kendrick dropped the, view, the video for "They Not Like Us" sure did. on July fourth. Sure did. Yeah, he so did. he's at this party, and everybody at the party is getting hit up. Yo, you got to see the video right. for They Not Like Us. So he walking around a party and everybody got their AirPods in looking at the fucking <laughs> cell phones watching the A minor line. That could be part of it, but he looks Drake sad. is probably like this at every party he goes to now because he's scared to death that DJ might just but play they not like <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Every time, you, Yo. know how, you know how sometimes you get a phone call and be like, yo, I want you to come to this party and you got to ask who all over there? Mm -hmm. Drake got to be like, who DJ? Yo, for real. But wasn't he <laughs> playing at his concert though? No, that was that That's was uh, fake. yeah, it was fake. Oh my god! See what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't know if it was fake or not. It seemed like something Drake would do though. No. Yeah. yeah I, 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 I don't. I, I don't know if Drake is sad or not, but I know that the internet overanalyzes every uh, single. They project thing. their emotions on everything. He looks sad. It's like, nah. If he had won the beef, they'd be like, damn, Drake cooling. You see that? Exactly. Yeah. Drake just out vibing. He chilling. You know what I'm saying he's not even drunk. <laughs> I saw him performing with little baby. Bro, you know what they would have said? I promise you, if Drake won the beef, they would have said this. Man, Drake don't want to be at that white guy's party. <laughs> right? And then look at him. He don't even want to be in this picture. He's doing him a favor, right? You saw what Absol posted, right? No. Absol posted, you know, Absol is TDE all day. Absol posted, um, if Drake is the MC, I imagine he can be. Redemption is not off the table. Mm. Okay. That's not okay. What does that mean? It, it, it means that it Round means two. that Ken, Ken, Kendrick still wants to beat him up. Yep. <laughs> That is a that this is this is 
hey, let's gas him up to try to put something else out. Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what that is. Why would your man? I'm that type of person. I'm that. I know instigation when I see instigation. I know he he did that on purpose. Like, yo, won't you go? You know what you should go do? Go make go clown Andrew Schultz real quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just because I want to sit back and watch the fireworks. <laughs> but why is why is the why does he say redemption is not past? Does wouldn't that, that, that wouldn't that mean apologize and we can be cool? I was just taking it from the music because of what he said in the first part. He said if Drake is the MC, yeah. I imagine he can be. This is all shade, by the way. Oh, Sal oh. Salute to Ab Show, Ab Soul. Oh, oh. Yep. If he's MC, I know he can be redemption. Meaning, if he puts out some real fire shit, that's right. He might got it. This is Ab Soul. This, you know what this is? You know what this seems like to me? Ab Soul was in the studio. And Kendrick probably let him hear what he got, what yeah. he had, <laughs> what he had coming. Drake, in case Drake wanted Drake, to Drake, put out some fucking. No, Drake, leave no, it alone. He said that he's no, gonna... I'm saying put out some others, put out some K-pop. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Put yeah, out yeah, what yeah. if what has he not <laughs> yeah, done yeah. yet? He's put supposed that to shit. drop Run out. Run away some... from rap. For gospel. Something. Put out gospel. Gospel. He good. think about how good God's plan worked for Drake. Yeah, but he's too Jewish to church. put that shit out right now. He <laughs> gotta choose a side. You can't be Jewish and do gospel music. No. But what's the what's the Jewish equivalent of gospel? Hava Nagila. Hava Nagila, let's go. Yo, yeah. Hava Nagila <laughs> summer. Jewish folk. Hava Nagila summer. That's a great idea. Let's go. We need a Hava Nagila okay. summer. Hava Nagila summer. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel remix. Yeah. Ooh, dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. Dreidel. Yeah. Drizzy Dreidel? Drizzy Dreidel? Drizzy Dreidel is fire. Let's go. So, yeah. What'd you call it? What was it called? Dreidel, Dreidel, What's Dreidel. What's the Hava wow. Nagila. Drizzy Dreidel, Hava Magila Summer. <laughs> That's it. You Done. got it. Guaranteed victory. Summer is Guaranteed about to be over, victory. Yo. Okay. Summer's about to be over. He, he didn't win it. Summer's about, about to be over. We just can't start it. What you be, saying? I'm saying that. He got till Labor Day. Nah. You got till Labor Day. Nah. He's good. I think, I think. He still got two he, more months. Yo, yo, stop, stop trying to take away our no. summer. Yeah. Like, I think. Let's go with the one concert. Summer. <laughs> yeah. Why are you saying take away your summer? Just Drake determines your summer? You said summer's over. I said, said summer's, summer's about to be over. over where it's I It's not, though. Summer's about to be over where he How? didn't... Oh, let me where look. He you didn't, gotta, see, now I got to check this. What's going on in the world? <laughs> what is going on? Where he so didn't... He took her vacation already, no, so... Look, oh, summer's, summer's over. Yeah, summer's get, your, get your ass back <laughs> in the No, look, I'm saying... Yo, summer is back Yo, summer is not over until September 22nd. I'm saying, though. I'm saying. Taylor. He should have started from the beginning. Summer just started June 20th. You I'm know that, right? He, yes, I'm saying that he should have started from the beginning, though. So that's no, in the he middle got till September. Let's go, Drake. Drizzy, Drizzy. Drake. Why are you, why you be rooting for him? That's why you didn't get invited. <laughs> why can't we root for him? I, first of all, it's not rooting for him giving up he's strategy. So excited. No, just, we're giving up he strategy. He's a certain type of excitement. I <laughs> get excited over strategy, I get excited over good marketing schemes. I don't care who they're for. Yeah. Okay? We, we can't just analyze shit. Exactly. Why I'm can't we you. analyze? I gave Kendrick a great marketing scheme months ago. I wrote Kendrick's song. And it looks like he's going in that direction. We I said, wrote the song. I said I wanted a West Coast album uh, from Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. There's, there's a couple of things that I said. Why I do said, you think he took I, your advice like he wasn't on it already? I didn't say he did. I'm just saying that these are the strategies that we discussed. I said I wanted to see Kendrick assist media personalities from L.A., yeah. which he did. With DJ Heads. Really Heads having a great, great, huge great moment. Shout out DJ Heads. Kend Kendrick, just... Kendrick Stimulus Package. Jealous. Now, West Coast you album. Jealous. <laughs> and if jealous. you heard the beginning of the Not Like Us video, that I song did. sounds very West Coastish. Yes, it does. Mm. Sounds very West Coastish. I'm just saying. He's uh, a fan. He's a fan. He's a fan. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> video was amazing. I, enjoy, I thoroughly enjoyed the video. You guys want to You didn't oh. like it? Tell me Do what you know that all the stuff that's hidden in it? You don't Let's even. Y'all don't even know if all Let's that stuff is in it. Y'all, you, you gotta stop believing Can everything go online. It? I thought it was the over. Internet, yo, by the way, the internet makes everything better Can because the internet comes it? up with their own conspiracy theories about things. Yeah, Can we go over it. Pull it up. I don't know. And, and, and I want y'all. I, I wish probably don't know anything about it. So this is like uh, take my opinion of the grand. They don't know anything about it. Yes, we yeah. do. There's people just online saying things. When, when I watch it, and I it really sounds good. I really wanted to like it because I think that Kendrick has like supreme artistry. Mm. Like I listen to lyrics, I'm like, this guy's a fucking artist. Holy shit! But the videos felt very overhanded. 
It was like hide the Bible, and then he hides the Bible. Oh, you like, mean like too direct? It's so yeah. There was there wasn't enough metaphor. There wasn't enough analogy. There wasn't enough distance between. There was a, there was, a, there was for, a few. for me when I saw a few of those in a row. I was like, oh, this is very. There was a few. I like the. Uh, the I mean, the obvious is the A minor when he plays hopscotch. To me, that's like those things are really obvious. Like, yeah, I get what you're saying. I, you don't need to be so obvious. We already know what you what you mean and what yeah, you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. Well, how would you want him to? Just a celebration. Celebration of Los Angeles. Oh, it was definitely that, though. Yeah, yeah, but uh, for me, that, that would have been well, enough. For the line, yeah, hide yeah, like, your Bible. You, 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 yeah. Say again. What would you want? Say again. For the line, hide your Bible. Like, what would you want? Just, well, I just wouldn't. You hide just want to see the Bible. Okay. Like, for example, if I'm watching like the Biggie video, it's like uh, you know, she looks so good, I suck on her daddy's dick. I don't need <laughs> Biggie to be like, oh, here's her daddy's dick. And then start, <laughs> so, like, wouldn't you be like, all right, we get it. You, the line the is metaphor. enough. The line is enough. I get what you're saying. Okay. You know, I don't need the literal representation of the metaphor. <laughs> I guess for that part, I guess for that part, maybe somebody could have got beat up. Oh yeah, Ooh. you know what I mean. Yeah, I like the part where uh, where they, they, they got Drake from the, the guy. They got the guy dressed like Drake from the Scary Hours video, yeah. and he's sneaking up behind Kendrick because Kendrick always says he's sneak dissing. And then he gets he gets blown away. I thought that was really cool. That was dope. I thought that was. Really I like that. Cool. I they did a historic. They said that there's a historical meaning to um the knock and them dancing. Uh, at the yeah, end. I saw the knock video. Must have known the beat, hope beat. This is a great record, man. It's a fantastic. This is a fantastic record. Like, like it, he, they were saying online that like he has a white jet, he has a white suit on because he knew that Drake was going to the <laughs> Michael Rubin's white white party. And y'all believe shit like that? <laughs> no, I, I think some say they know it's silly did, 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 though. This, this man, this man, this man did this video <laughs> how many months ago? He knew he just knew Drake was going to be at Michael Rubin's white party. Like, why do y'all believe shit? That see, that was the ill part. That part where he got blown yeah, away. Yeah, I thought that was yeah. cool. That was ill. He did the push up. They said that he did seventeen, then I counted. And then stop because that's how long. Or that's how old what, the girls are. Yeah, <laughs> that don't make any sense. <laughs> what do you that, mean? That makes zero sense. And then they're saying that part is from Drake's video he has with someone's little sister <laughs> doing the same thing. I like this part of the video, but it's just like, why is Kendrick the inmate? Like, if you're rapping about all of these people being criminals, you shouldn't be the inmate. You should have this was too either lookalikes direct. Yeah, like no, no. the owl. I didn't mind thought, this, but they should have had something fall out of it. Yeah. Like 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 a child. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, seriously. Yeah. This is dope. I like I listen, I enjoyed the video. Um I don't they, they said that that burger spot, that part, Tams, business increased 40%. Wow. You know what I mean? So I like stuff like this. He's helping the economy yep. of Los Angeles. So only thing I would say is what I've been saying. I want to see Kendrick Lamar do a West Coast sounding album. Honestly, if I was PG Lang, I would do a West Coast compilation album. And all of those artists that he bought on stage, mm. like a lot of those new artists that people don't know, mm. I would mix them with some of the now generation of L.A., Yep. Some of the OGs and just put out a dope ass West Coast compilation album executive produced by Kendrick and Dave Free. That's fire. That would be the move. I mean, now's the time. Now is the time. I mean, oh. that was a great move to get to Rosen in it. Man, did you see the video of DeMar DeRozan saying how loyal he was to Drake, though? Yeah. <laughs> that shit. The internet is a motherfucker. The internet don't forget gang nothing, Gang ties yo. is a motherfucker. That's what it is. What is gang ties? Well, I mean. Oh, 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 I get what you're saying. Yeah, I don't know what none of this means. The whole shipping, uh, yeah, I don't get that. I don't, I don't, I don't. Um, I think they just needed a location. It's a dope location. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Roll your ass up like a fresh bag of zop. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you guys saying like Kendrick, that? I was doing Kendrick voice. And then voice. this was all the TDE. I was doing Kendrick voice on uh all all throughout throughout fucking vacation. <laughs> that shit is just funny, man. <laughs> Bro, I felt like a fresh pack of sauce. Certified pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> he says pedophile? Man, that goes. I haven't heard nobody say that great. Pedophile. Certified pedophile. Certified pedophile. He's a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> He's a pedophile. That shit is sticky. They bro. said this is like part of, well, not this part, but. When he did the. Uh, the running around, like it was like part of something historic. I, I forgot what it was. You, what you, Taylor, you don't even know what's happening in the video. Why can't we what just enjoy the video? I'm telling you what people are saying. By the way, I want y'all to notice about people, because I think this is something that we always forget. Like that part is a certain type. 
I, I love this part. Of this. Yeah, this was this the was best the part. Illest part. This and she had the a wife beater on, y'all. I knew you was going to say that. Somebody said that to me at the fucking airport. <laughs> Let me ask y'all this one simple question. If somebody accuses me of beating my wife, you're not gonna put Why her would in I a wife purposely, beater? intentionally put her in a wife beater? Like, come on! Like, I want y'all to use your head just a little bit, please. Yeah. The illest part of that was the fact that he was dancing with his family during the line where he says, mm -hmm. uh, "The truth of the what he said, the family matter, and the truth of the matter, I was sent here to show you God sent God sent me to show you who's the liar." Mm. It's like, yo, okay, you, you said I'm not with my family. You said my family's broken up. You said I'm never with my kids. Bye. Here we are. Mm. Here we are. Now we crip walking on your grave. Or blood walking. I don't know what Kendrick reps. Okay, you're doing yeah, some type of walking. He? He's got to be crap. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. There's but a lot of bloods there. His wife was doing some type of dance. You know what I mean? It's literally, all you got to do is listen to the song. It matches up when he says, the, what, is, what was it, the truth to the matter? What's the, what's truth the line? The truth to the matter. It was God's plan to show us the liar. Yes. So I'm just showing you, you lied about my whole family, which he told him from the beginning. He did. Don't tell no lies on me and I won't tell no truth about you. He did. I love it. It was great. I enjoyed it thoroughly. But what I was going to say about people is there's a whole YouTube economy that monetizes videos like this. And what I mean by it, they'll get online and just say anything. Yeah. You know, when he did this, it meant this. And this symbolizes this. I and got yada, yada, yada. And everybody eats it up. I got caught by that shit. What'd you watch? Which one I, did I you watched watch? something. It was, I forget. We watched it on Flagrant, and I thought it was real, but they actually do it as a joke, I guess. But I thought it was real, so we referenced it as if it was real. <laughs> <laughs> so we got fucking caught. Because yeah, you sit back and laugh What's at it people. Called? Bar Wars or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, bar Wars. I do think those have the shit that kind of do, or they say about kind of, he just looks like, I wasn't even thinking about that, but let's yeah. run with that. I mean, that's <laughs> sure. That's what a liberal arts degree is at any school. It's just reading <laughs> it's, books and adding meaning. It's funny, though. It's clever, I think, the certain stuff they make up. Yeah. I mean, but they make it up only because they're monetizing. This, this is what you do. Watch stuff about yourself. Mm. That's when you realize. Mm. Oh, the these narratives people of just people making up shit. Bro, I know. Like they literally just making up shit. I Somebody know. sent me one about me two days ago. I know. I loved it though. <laughs> what was it? I like the. Why I, you I, say it like no, that? you know what? I like the ones that make me look like, like some. A, he's like an evil genius. Di exactly. You make me look like some <laughs> evil genius, diabolical mastermind, and all these people are my puppets, <laughs> and I'm just making them do my bidding, and I'm making them move this way and move that way just to destroy them and their platform. <laughs> oh, I love shit like that. I be. I literally saw it. Somebody sent it to me, and I was just like, I didn't watch it, but I just saw the headline, and I was like. They give me too much credit. Yeah. They just do. Yeah, yeah. They just do. But hey, if you want to make me, if you want to make me out to be Magneto, cool. You'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Why the fuck not? It's fun. Yeah. What else we got, Taylor? What else happened uh, last week? What did we miss? The debate. The debate. I think that happened in between. Yeah. It you know did, what, but. You know what? I, 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 I woke up every morning in Angola and I worked out and I would turn CNN on. And it just Depressed boggles you. my mind how terrible left-wing media is. Le left-wing media does not, for the life of them, know how to create their own narratives. It's like, okay, I get it. Go, go, go. President Biden sucked at the debate. We knew he would. We yeah. knew he would. Who didn't see that coming? Yeah. We all knew he would. But you spend... From the moment the debate went off, from the moment the debate went off till now, you've spent a whole week talking about how terrible Biden was and should Biden drop out and can Biden beat Trump in November. I'm like, my God, there was nothing. You couldn't focus on none of Trump's lies. I'm talking, because Fox don't do that. Yeah. Fox is going to focus on how bad Biden is because yeah. they don't want Biden to win. Yeah. Shouldn't the left focus on how bad Trump was? Uh, Shouldn't they focus on the fact that Trump lied over, factually lied over 40 times? Shouldn't they focus on that? Why, would, for the life of me, would you focus on President Biden? That, uh, the, the, the A story, if I'm CNN or MSNBC, would be how much Trump lied. Hmm. The, 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 A, the, the one A story would be that. The one, the one B story for me would be the Supreme Court and everything that they've been doing 
for the simple fact Trump appointed three of the judges. Right. And the presidential immunity thing directly protects him. Right. I'd be focusing on that and the fact that they also made it legal for uh, elected officials to take bribes. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, Supreme Court. Those three things would have been all I'd have been talking about this week. Huh. Just to distract from the fact Joe Biden was so bad. Uh. Why would they reinforce that narrative if you're supposed to be okay? Let's think of a reason. Biden's side. Let's think of a reason we why. We know the reason. Say it, Schultz. Because they don't want Biden. Why don't they want Biden? Because they don't think he can win. But why don't they think he can win? Why? What would be the reason for these uh, cable networks to push a negative Biden narrative? So that someone steps in and. Takes over. The guy who brings the ratings. Oh. oh. The guy who brings the ratings. So you're saying that CNN actually wants Trump to win because I, their ratings would be crazy. I think majority of these networks want Trump to win. I'm not saying that the people there, the personalities that are on air, want Trump to win. I think it's in these networks' best interest. To have the, the interesting guy. Yeah. Tr either, either. Because then they can spin narratives like we were just saying. You just make up anything. And then run with it. Appease your audience. Two storylines have worked. Face. Anything anything Trump works. Yeah. And anything negative against Democrats works. Yeah. Yeah. They, I mean. They, I, I just don't understand. I don't understand any other logical reason. They did try to set a narrative immediately after. Immediately. Which is, no, no. The Dems did. Which was uh, Trump lied. And yeah, Biden didn't do a good job, but at least he told the truth. But they couldn't do it because of the media. Like I'm talking no. about, soon as the soon as the debate was over, CNN was talking about how bad Biden was, which we knew he would be. And I, and I must say this, yeah, because I did I did spike the football a little bit, what you know, you uh, after the debate, because all of these questions that they've been asking all week, I've been asking for the past year. I asked, is Biden Harris a winnable ticket? They, they, they come from my head. I said on The Daily Show last December, Biden's making the same mistake that they made with RBG. They should have told RBG to sit down and they could have put somebody in the Supreme Court. But, I, said, yeah. I said, Biden's not getting no younger. Biden's not getting a new running mate. He needs to do us the biggest favor before Christmas. Give us the biggest Christmas gift. Give America the biggest Christmas gift and step down. These conversations have been happening. David Axelrod has been happening, having them. Ezra Klein wrote a whole article, I think, for the New York Times about it. I've been saying it. They gave us hell. John Stewart been saying it. They gave us hell for saying these things. But now, all week long, they're having the exact same conversation, exact same discussion. You're too fucking late. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm well, saying? That's a good... You're too fucking late. Do you think they are? Like, Do you think there is enough time for them to switch them out? I mean, everything's so unprecedented nowadays. I, I, I think there is time. I, I, I don't, Who would it be? It can't be Kamala. It, it ha it was, she's the only logical choice because that's where the money goes. The money can't go to anybody else. So the war chest they have can't go to anyone else. You don't think that all that money can be reallocated to the... No, they said it can't. They said it can only go to the vice president. It can only go to any... Uh, it can only go to Kamala. Well, I'm sure it can be like sent back and then redirected or something like that. I mean, you got all these donors now saying they're not giving up no more money until Biden's out of the way. Well, that's what they'll have to do. I mean, I think Biden is... I'm sorry, I think Kamala is Biden's security. Like, I think Kamala is so bad that that's the only reason we tolerate Biden. Because the only person worse than Biden is Kamala. I don't think so. I don't think that's oh, the case. Oh, dude, Charlotte, man, she hasn't said anything coherent in three years. If you think that fucking Biden sounds like an idiot. No, Kamala don't sound like an idiot. I, 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 can't, get, I, can't, I can't go that far. Do I, do I feel like she's disappeared? Yes. What is one thing she said that you were impressed by in her entire vice presidency? One thing she said? Um, I think she gave a great speech this weekend at the Essence Festival. I like the way that she st stepped up for black maternal health care. I think that she she's the person who has prosecuted the case against Donald Trump the best, way better than motherfucking President Biden has. Just laying out the, the fact, like, even this, when she was at Essence Festival this weekend, she was talking about, you know, the Supreme Court and the presidential immunity that was granted. And I'm sitting back saying to myself, why haven't more people been talking oh. about that? Like, She's the person that should go out there right now and talk about how illegitimate the Supreme Court motherfucking is. Yeah. How these motherfuckers are pure corruption. I think she ought to... I, saying somebody uh, can't put a sentence together 
worse than Biden is saying a lot. Not that she can't put a sentence together, like, but you she gotta just be never in says anything. I mean, <laughs> like, you got to be in preschool to put a sentence together worse than Biden. Yeah, it's but it's, like you it's, just it's, learning words. Yeah, <laughs> it's know? not the words as much as the numbers. The numbers fuck him up, bro. The numbers. Fuck the second him up. he says numbers, it's like <laughs> let's let the games begin. I think right now. And listen, let's 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 call it what it is. Joe Biden, I've said it before, Joe Biden wouldn't be president if it wasn't for all of the unfortunate events that happened in 2020. I truly believe So COVID doesn't happen. COVID, the, the George Floyd with all the unrest in the street. I just I, the, the way people were afraid of Donald Trump. Yeah. Even though Donald Trump had over 70 million people vote for him, there was people that were definitely afraid of a second Trump presidency. I think the same thing now. You put Kamala with a great you know, VP, the right VP pick. I, I still say Governor Shapiro, you know. What about Gavin Newsom? Eh. Eh. I know he has like the, the he has like a slime ball sentiment. It's the Cali thing. And also California doesn't have the best reputation. Yeah, right that's now. what I'm saying. I don't I don't know about Gavin. He look I don't know. I don't I don't feel it from him. He's got a new podcast he's starting with Marshawn Lynch, by the way. Oh, he wants it bad. It's called Fire. <laughs> He wants it bad. That's for real. Yeah, it's called politicking. It's, it's, it's Gavin Newsom, Marshawn Lynch, and uh, that's an agent. Oh, I can't he, remember who the agent. You didn't know that? He's trying yeah, to look be it up. president. That's different. He's look, going look for that black vote. Oh, uh, that is. But that will help him out because I feel one of the things people don't like about him is that he looks too, like too much polished. Of a politician. Like he looks like an old school politician and. The game has moved so far away from that. Yeah. It's like, we're not, we don't like that shit anymore. He's got some things that I've liked. Like, I like him going on Fox News, right? And I like him debating uh, Ron DeSantis on Fox News. I like him talking to Sean Hannity. I think you got to go in the lion's den. I think you have to go have conversations with these people because, like I always say, we're so busy talking you know, about each other. We never talk to, to each, each other. other. It's kind of hard to take me out of context when I'm sitting on your network talking to you. Yeah. Did you think you know? he was good in the debate? I didn't see that debate. It was, it was cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, he's, he's sharp. It was cool. It was, it was, I thought it was a good debate. You know, I mean, his ex-wife is dating or married to Donald Jr. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. So that's a nice thing for Trump to talk about. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. My, my son is hitting your ex-wife. Yeah. God. It, it, or or he could go ask your son how his dick taste. Damn. Damn. What if Trump says... You lost, <laughs> no. What if Trump says you lost your wife to my son? Now you about to lose this election to me. Ooh. Yeah, it, it don't... It don't even it, it sound crazy, but it just, it's just it hard. just hits yeah, for some no, reason. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Hits. One don't even really got nothing to do with the other. It My, just hits. The Trumps have taken everything you ever dreamed of. <laughs> 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 wow. Yes, you're right. Listen, man. Yeah, I, I don't dislike Gavin Newsom. I just don't see him for this. And I think it's something about this is what we're realizing about America. And I'm sure you've seen this from traveling America, Schultz. America's not New York and California. No. Bro. No, and at all. No. So no, it's something no. about that that kind of like, re, you know, repels people away. Especially because a lot of times New York and California think that's what America is. Yeah. Or think that's the only important parts of America, 100%. Yeah. And I mean, Kamala has been around for so long that even though she is from Oakland, hmm. She's more just D.C. Hmm. You just think of her as a D.C. politician, and yeah. she, she went to Howard. You, you know what I mean? So she don't that have that. True. She don't have that Cali on her. I don't see her as like a California. That's politician. what I'm saying. Yeah, that is true. That's what I'm saying. So listen, all I'm simply saying is I don't know what happens um, in 2024. I just think it's very strange that everybody's starting to have this conversation now. Cause this shit is, we've been watching this shit for the past year and a half. They saw the shit hit the fan. I think a lot of people thought that Trump wouldn't even get the nomination. I think there was a lot of people holding on to him getting arrested or him going to prison or something horrible happened. Now that they realize that nothing's going to happen to him and he's probably going to win, they're like, okay, well, we got to put something up there. Nothing's going to happen to him. He's probably going to win. And the Supreme Court has already said, the Supreme Court's made it to nothing's going to happen to him. Meaning if he wins, you can't prosecute it, or if he loses as well. It's, that's what I'm saying. Like, and, and they get to decide. Yeah. What was, a, uh, what do they call it? Uh, uh, what, what do they call it, Chris? Uh, a, a crime... But that's an official duty, what was like it? Like an official act. Official yeah. act. Yeah. Yes. Got you know? It. Yeah. So, and, so and the Supreme Court gets to decide what's an official act? 
Come on, bro. Yeah, I mean, it's never a good look to arrest a president. And and and, and how so, how pussy. Yeah. Does the Supreme Court know Democrats are that that they would pass the presidential immunity while Biden is in office? Yeah. T- they, the way the media talks about it, it's like Trump is president now. Yeah. No, Biden's in office. So all of these kingly powers that you're talking about uh, the president having, Biden has now. And he could use some of those kingly powers to protect democracy, yeah. but he won't. Well, there's a more <laughs> comes positive. A liberal pussy. <laughs> Chris, don't sound like a liberal pussy. I need you to be objective here. I think you could frame that as... He won't abuse the the power of the presidency. So democracy is really not at stake then. If well, democracy I, is really at stake and Trump is the existential threat that they say he is, right? You should do everything in your power to protect it. Like what? Well, while also protecting the constitution and democracy, you can't sac- sacrifice democracy to save democracy. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Y'all are bugging because the, the Republicans don't think that way. Y'all see y'all, but that doesn't make them right. That doesn't make it right. Yeah, fuck it. I'm moving to Angola. I don't. Y'all, 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 y'all don't give a fuck no more. Y'all, I don't give a fuck. Y'all not willing to go. Listen, if somebody got a bazooka on your block, you don't show up with a nine, Chris. You got to go get you a bazooka. But you're saying drop a nuclear bomb that wipes out the neighborhood anyway. They are. They already dropped the nuke. What's the nuke? Oh my God! The presidential immunity to me is a nuke. But shouldn't you be immune once you're president? No. 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 Fuck out of here. Absolutely bro. not. I'm going to be president for four years and I still got to pay taxes and shit. <laughs> I, I, I gotta, there's got to be some benefit. Nobody in, in America should be above the law. Like, yo, the shit is- the Supreme Court is doing is not even in the Constitution. They're making this shit up as they go along. Bro, did They're it- making this shit up. None of this shit is in the Constitution. Like, I know this is like the uh, example everyone uses, but Biden could right now say, hey, Trump is a threat to democracy and order a t- like a hit. And that's an act of like service, protecting the democracy. Or like, lock him up. Immune we don't even got to go so like, far. He can as- actually do that. We don't even got to go so far as murder. Just lock him up. Like that's crazy. Lock but him against up, his will, he can't do that. He, he has the power to do that because no, it's, it's, yes. it's against habeas corpus. What the fuck is that? That uh, you have control of your body. Is that what it? Uh, <laughs> what? <it's>, <laughs> what? <laughs> it, I know you, that's on the money. Essentially, you cannot lock someone up without reason. Cause, yeah, without cause. Not anymore, based off the Supreme Court. What the Supreme no, Court just no, did? No, no, they, they haven't suspended so habeas. You can corpus. take someone out as a threat I mean, to they, the country. Uh, under your theory, they could say, for any number of reasons, again, he's a threat to he's democracy. He's an attempted coup in his country. He did lead a coup, uh, an attempted coup. But you lock up Trump right now, it's over anyway. Yeah. Because they, once the pendulum swings back, and it will swing back it's gonna be to Chris, the other side. They've already hit this man with 90-plus charges. He got convicted of 34. You know what? Boy, sometimes I want y'all just to be able to see an alternative universe. When Trump gets back in the White House, all of Biden's going to jail. I mean, and some Clintons. That's true. What are y'all? What are, What are we doing, Chris? I mean, or he already said it. Or he's pussy. Or Trump's pussy. One thing we know, Trump ain't. Well, he well, might no, be. He's a little, he's he ain't pussy. lock up. He didn't lock up Hillary last exactly. time. He ain't lock he up the, the power to last though. time. He didn't have the power to. Why didn't he? Why he didn't have the power to. Now he has the actual power that's, to. That's the concern. He, 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 had he, to build, the he had to build a case last time. But he has the power to just lock someone up for yes. no reason? What's that called? It's He'll, an official act. He'll say it's an official act. He could say Biden, uh, he could talk about the uh, pulling out of uh, Afghanistan. Mm. Right. That's He's, fire. Uh, <laughs> I think that's fire. Is that fire? Do that <laughs> shit. Yo, when fucking, what is it, uh, when George Bush and Jr. and uh, Dick Cheney go fleece the American people for fucking billions of dollars and go kill millions of uh, Iraqis in the process, War you crimes. would like for the next That's president right. to be like, all right, we locking them up. They'd be nice, so there'd be a little accountability. That's fire that Trump's going to go in but there you and just said, settle but some shit. But you just said presidents should be able to get away with stuff. Not until I, the next one's in office. <laughs> <laughs> Once the next one's in office, you got to do what you got to do. All I'm simply saying is... They, they got to go to Anguilla with you. Listen, Democrats can play nice all they want. Yeah. President Biden can try to do the right thing all he want. 
They've all done that. Hey, look where it's got them. Obama yeah, but, did the same thing, played nice with you them. You with the where good guys, bro. You with the good guys. Man, fuck that. They need to start being like Batman. No. Anti-heroes. You are Professor X. A bunch of cripples nah. rolling around fucking city. <laughs> they need to be Magneto. You need to be Magneto. But the Republicans are Magneto. The Republicans? Nah. What do you mean that? Well, no, you're right. The Republicans are life. Magneto. Republicans are Magneto. They're like, we fucking yeah, it up. Yeah, we yeah, don't yeah, care. Yeah, yeah, They don't care about what else is going on. They're Everybody better. else is beneath them. Let's go. Fuck that. No, nah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I, I don't, I, it's it's amazing to me that Democrats, liberals, mm. even still talk like this. Chris, it's actually mind-boggling me that you still feel like he, just doing the right thing now, this is, is what's going to save, this, this is save America. This is the craziest shit. This is the craziest shit for me, is that... At this point, there's no way to defend Biden, right, in his state. Oh, they but, have found ways. But, but, but. And, they, and it's all black people. They put the black brigade front line. Well, here's the thing. They will say all the things that the Biden administration have done that are positive, right? Which is awesome. That's great that positive things are happening. But that's not how our democracy works. What they're basically saying is Biden's a puppet and the people that have control of the strings are doing good shit. And we're okay with the string people. That's not democracy. You vote for someone and you want their ideas to be reflected. Yeah. You can't just, when the puppet's ideas that's are good, true. go, you know what? Fuck democracy. Well, that's how the handlers do it all. That's very true. There, there was a New York Times article. I think it came out a couple of days after the debate that really like looked inside the White House. And I thought it was like an actual, a pretty accurate portrait in that, yeah, Biden is up and down. There's no question. But like they... They kind of had the details of his call to Netanyahu when Netanyahu was like really stepping up in Gaza and Biden walked him down. Biden said to him, if you're doing this thing, you're going solo. We don't have your back. This is it. Like, I don't think it's he's just sitting there staring into space eating oatmeal and it's, it's coming down his face. He's still... That is such a great thing to say, Chris, when 50,000 Palestinians he, have been killed. No, but what I'm he saying... He knows that this is... that He knows that's another issue he's going to have to deal with in November. So, of course, you would let that leak. Yes, but I think it's accurate. Point, you know what I'm saying? I think it's accurate, <laughs> yeah, yeah, though. Yeah. It rang true to me for whatever it's worth. But my point is... I don't know. I mean, it's it's difficult. Look... The Democrats, it, again, it swings both ways. Uh, how did Kennedy get elected? He got elected largely because Nixon, on the way to the first ever televised debate, banged his knee and looked old and ashen. And that was the version of the Trump thing, right? And Kennedy was youthful and energetic compared to, it was image. Mm -hmm. Nixon was more experienced, you know, what, what have you. We got the same problem now. No matter how you slice it, that is how Biden came off. Why do we both of them suck? I, I can't. Well, I that's, that's the biggest Trump issue. The biggest, suck, the biggest. Bro. America deserves better the, on both the sides. The saddest Always thing better. Why is do we never Trump get that? was so fucking terrible, and Biden didn't seem to be able to do anything about it. I mean, the things Trump was was saying were outrageous. It's hilarious, though. Oh man, man what was your favorite part? When he claimed that two scientists stopped him on the way to the debate stage <laughs> to tell him that America had the cleanest air and water the air in the history. No. I'm like, well, what the fuck is this guy talking yeah. about? What the fuck is this guy my talking favorite, about? I, my favorite shit is he has a prepared answer for every question. And they don't, because he freestyles. But, but the second that answer is done, he don't stop talking. Right. And once his hands start moving, that's when he's just improv -ing. He's just saying anything. The next idea that comes to his fucking head, that's coming out. You know that Joe Biden said on his interview with George Snuffleupagus that um, <laughs> that that uh, he, he, he was distracted because even when it was mute, Trump kept talking? I believe that. But shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear that. So you're that easily distracted? Stop it. You've been campaigning in front yeah, of right. people it's for bad. fucking exactly. 50 years. You can yeah, hear them talking Come over on. the nah, Come on. He's out of here. He's toast. He's toast. And, and, that's, and by the way, forget Biden. Forget how you personally feel about Biden. I will ask a simple question that I've been asking for a year and a half that y'all get mad at me when I ask. Is the Biden-Harris ticket a winnable ticket in no. 2024. No ticket the, with Harris or Biden is winnable. The fact that we can't even have that conversation is insane to me. Now, they've won before, so you can't say it's not winnable. They won, they won in 2020. That's a good point. I'm just saying. According to the polls that came out today, Emerson College poll, that's still the strongest ticket. For the Dems. Yeah, but they still not beating but, Trump in none of these polls, yeah. Chris. 46 to 43 Trump with 11 undecided. That's with... That's with uh, Biden. 
Yo, real clear. That's a po- toss up. Real clear politics poll tracker says Trump leads Biden by 3.3 points. Uh, Emerson College, Trump is up by three points over Biden. How much um, undecided? I don't if it's say about ten undecided. undecided, a three point lead means nothing. It means it's a toss up. Undecided staying on the. I think undecided means the couch this year. Largely, but yeah. some of those votes are swing. Because one in four Americans think that both candidates are trash. One in four can. Well, let me use the technical term. One in four candidates have unfavorable views about Trump and Biden. Now, what are the couch? Uh, what do you think they have? Trump versus Newsom. Oh, he's he wipes Newsom's ass. Blows him out the water. What is it? 48 to 40. But Trump. With a lot of That's undecided. a blowout, by the way. All he, these have a lot of undecided. Who, who else they got up there? They got Shapiro? Harris Solo. They have Trump 49 to 43 with 8% undecided. By the way, none of these elections will be Actually, why, why do they have... They got Gore in this? I don't, I don't know why they got Gore in this. Al Gore's still alive? Yeah. Huh. What about Michelle? Don't have Michelle. By the way, no election is going to be decided by seven, eight points. No, this is going right down to the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not happening. To the wire. All I'm simply saying is, I, man, I, 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 I don't know. There's so. still a lot of time. It's, is it? Yeah. Time is not on Biden's side. No. <laughs> like, it's just getting worse. It's not like he's going to have a resurgence. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He's not getting no younger. Yeah. He, Neither is Trump. Neither is Trump. Yeah, Look, I mean, he looks good. Well, and, it's, and and as I've said, it's all gonna come down. To, y'all keep talking about the undecideds. I think it's gonna come down to the basis. I think it's gonna be a battle of the basis. Whose base is gonna be more energized to get up in November? That'll be Trump's. And go out there and vote. It feels like it's gonna be Trump's. That'll are be they Trump's. Do and, and, and Democrats are doing exactly what they always do. Now they want to lean on black people. They want to have meetings with the CBC. Oh, y'all guys are so important now. You know. I think this could be another Trump Hillary situation where a lot of people thought Hillary, like the polls had Hillary so far ahead that a lot of people didn't come out to actually vote. And that's why I think Trump like squeezed the win. And I think it could be a, a repeat of that, just the opposite way around. Like right now, everyone thinks Trump is going to wash Biden. So a lot of Trump supporters that are not so eager are going to stay home. And the people who are just anti Trump are going to come out in numbers. And I think that that's the only chance Biden has to win. Well, We'll see, guys. Republicans show up, bro. I I have no reason to doubt that. They show up. <laughs> I have no reason to doubt that. And once again, if Democrats lose this election in November, they have nobody to blame but themselves. I don't want to see my OG Jim Clyburn out there waving the finger, saying, y'all should have went out there and voted. No, I don't want to see none of that. You had every opportunity to pivot, and you did not. Hmm. Don't act like... This is, and that's the other thing. Everybody's acting like the debate is what made everybody be like, oh my God, he's, he's, he's not ready. How long, how many cognitive decline jokes do you need to hear? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Before you realize that he's old yeah. and we know he's old. Yeah. And if the president's out, they say the presidency ages you by what? 20 years? I mean, he's 132. But he's, <laughs> he's been doing this his whole life. I don't. Do you think he's had Botox? As Taylor. Yeah. Was, oh, Botox? I think he Clearly. had too much Botox, and that's adding to the impression that he's like. No. He had facelifts. Chris, he had Botox. Chris, Chris. He had a lot. He just isn't all there. I mean, I mean this sincerely, and I said this in one of the rants we did. But like, what job would you be okay with Joe Biden doing? He's. Fast food, but then that would even be frustrating too, because he'd be so he's slow. Forgetting the order, he's yeah, not you can't, you can't work computer. the register. Oh my god! You think Trump's yes. all? You think Trump's all there? I would feel way more comfortable with Trump doing so many more jobs than I would. Trump would have ripped in a Jamaican restaurant. Destroy. Trump would be the illest in a Jamaican Destroy. restaurant. You would just get all rice. He would do just his, his, his lingo would be. Imagine Trump Jamaican. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, yo, he don't want no Mexicans in the restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Talk, what are you doing here? You know what I mean? Like, like Trump in a Jamaican restaurant would Fine. be amazing. Fine. Somebody do that for me with AI, please. I'm begging you. Somebody please. It's already been done. I sent it to you. What he's talking oh, about. Oh, yeah, 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 real, yeah, yeah. That shit band was band. hilarious. <laughs> Post that. Let's have put that in there. That shit was hilarious. I mean, it's just mind-boggling to me that the most important job in the world is the president of the United States of America, and the guy that is doing it, we would not trust to do any other job in the world. I, I, he can't watch our kids. 
He can't drive your car. He can't park your fucking car. Listen, there's he can't cook your food. There is something that's uh, I don't I don't I don't want to scary and true. I, I will say this though. There is something about elders, which he is, but I think, you know, we have to remember the Bible. Old men for counsel, young men for war. <laughs> he's at the age where he's got so much political experience yeah. that he should be providing counsel. Yeah. And I don't know if there was a written agreement or it couldn't have been a written agreement, but there had to be some, there should have been some type of handshake where he knew he was going to be a one-term president and he was going to retire. Nobody would have faulted him for it because he knows he's older. I don't want to do this. That's I it. just wanted to get our country back, you know, on, on the right path. Now I'm setting up the next person. That's it. And I'm here to counsel him. Not just me. So with Barack, so with Big 100%. Bill. So is Bush. Like, whoever's alive, we're all here to counsel the next person, whether they're, you know, Democrat or Republican. 100%. They could even say anybody but Trump. 100%. I think they should start playing the fraternity card with Trump. What do you mean? He's not like us. He's not one of us. Which 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 most people in America actually like Trump for, right? Because he's not a right. career politician. But they could easily spin it now. You saw what happened when you put a fucking celebrity in the White House for the last four years. You're in, you were entertained, but did it, but did it actually make America a better place? Mm. That's all. I'm. I, I don't know. Mm. I mean, the economy was cooking. The economy was cooking, but look what happened that made it cook. What? The Chinese had to cook up some shit in the lab in Wuhan. No, I'm saying before the Chinese got after But that was because of Barack. He inherited a great economy from President Obama. It's a fact. Am I making this up, Chris? Well, I think he did some tax credits to loosen yeah, I mean, some things up. He made a good economy if you're rich, which has always been his... But he inherited a great economy. He inherited a great economy. Yes, and then fucking COVID came and everybody got stimulus checks and PPP loans because the world was upside down. Right, right. Do we that, need look, another pandemic the, for that to happen? The bottom line is this. Democracy is a very fragile thing. And you don't, Man, you don't, you never don't, realize how fragile it was. You don't realize that until it's gone and then we're fucked. And he, more so than any other president or politician in history fucked with that. Can't keep blaming it on him, though. I, that, that is not fair to do. Well, what do you mean? Because this shit was headed in this direction long before Donald Trump. Mm. And, uh. and, 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 and we got and we got to stop backing like it wasn't. This was It was headed here long before Donald Trump. Donald Trump... I mean, I just think America. I just think the way America's designed and the way America's built. I just think Amer democracy has always been a fragile thing. Yeah, we have a natural inclination towards tyranny, and that's just how things yeah, work. Yeah. It's what, it's what humans probably want in yeah. general. We just want free, uh, what to, not freedom, we just want security, and then we'll give up our freedom for that security nine times out of ten. And by the way, regardless of who's in the White House, the Supreme Court is forever. So unless somebody on the Democratic side with some fucking balls decides to goddamn expand the Supreme Court, nothing, none of this shit matters any motherfucking way. Yeah. This shit is fucked, bro. Like, really fucked in a that, real way. way. Do you think the Supreme Court is that politicized in yes. their voting? Oh, my God. I know yes. they've done studies on this, but, no, but is more, that— More than ever. More than like ever now. crazy. Six, now, three conservative majority. They're supposed to be and they don't impartial. Hide. They don't hide it at all. Like, not even a little bit. What, what Clarence Thomas has done is unprecedented. Huh? Clarence Thomas, Clarence Thomas is gets accused of what? Taking four million in bribes? Hmm. And then they pass, they, they pass a law that you can take bribes? It's his wife is the problem. It's all the, you no, know. Everybody's like, giving the money to the wife. Well, she's also like an incredibly uh, prominent and Republican activist. I mean, they're supposed to be separate from all politics. And his wife is like the head of... The furthest right wing causes. So is the other guy's wife, who's flying the flag in her backyard. I mean, it's like, but aren't these supposed to be the greatest uh, constitutional minds? Nothing in they're doing is country? constitutional. I'm just Literally. saying maybe they've interpreted the constitution in a way that allows these things. Yeah, but if your wife is hanging the American flag upside down, that symbolizes uh, the people at January 6th. Like, hey, what's more unpatriotic <laughs> than that? That's crazy. What happened? Y'all motherfuckers <laughs> cared so much about being patriotic when motherfuckers was taking a knee in every sport. Yeah. But now you got Supreme Court justices' wives flying American flags upside down, and y'all respect that shit? Yeah, I don't like to fly the flag upside down. But on, what man. is she flying it upside down about? I don't know. It kind of uh, represents a lot of the people that are that were at January 6th that are feel like we're taking our country back. The country is kind of like upside down. We have to make. Do y'all really think that was a real insurrection? 
Yeah. Yeah. Like, you really think that they were trying to murder it was primitive. people in the... I think it was a very poorly oh, planned... Oh, they would have called Mike Pence. They'd have hung him. I believe that wholeheartedly. And he's gay? You know how they feel about gays, bro. <laughs> like, 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 they had a double the reason. Trump told them to. Well, Trump didn't tell them to. Trump just told him he was a traitor. The fact that they was chanting, hang Mike Pence, and they probably, that's when the gay rumors around Mike Pence probably got heavy. Yeah. You know how when your man is your man, and you don't, like, you, you hit, like, nah, nah, that he ain't gay. But when he not your man's man no more, He's gay oh, fun. my God. Like, I do think they were just trying to hold up the confirmation of the yeah, vote yeah. just to give Trump more time to prove that the election was stolen. I think that's what they would really try to do. It, 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 bottom line is that was some shit that's not supposed to happen in America. Yeah, obviously. Okay. 100%. Yeah, you know. But I, yeah, but I don't think that there was, that was most of those people's goal was to take over America. He didn't try to stop them. Let, let's say you have a sold out show at Madison Square Garden. At the end yes. of your show, you say, you know what, fuck MTV. Those guys never gave me a shot. You know what I mean? They they screwed me. I should have, whatever. Well, that just wouldn't be true either, but... But you know what I mean. I'm just... Yes. I'm thinking in terms of proximity. Guys, gotcha. yeah. Cross the street. Everybody go over there and tell them how you feel about me. An hour later, they're like, yo, Andrew, these guys are fucking are burning down. 15, a thousand people are over at MTV You would go lobby. over there and be like, <laughs> yo. Was, so... Eh. No, you, so, you let them burn down. I would tell I if I, I if Schultz called me and said, "Hey, man," I said this on. I be doing shit like that, bro. I said this on stage. <laughs> now they over there tearing up MTV. What should I do? I would say, "Hey, man." Get on Twitter and just say, y'all took my joke a little too far. I didn't even that would have been I didn't something. mean my joke literally. Even that would have been something. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? He was just like, no, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. You can't have that guy as president. I, I, I don't. I, again, I, I don't. I, I, I agree with you, Chris. But you know, I, I just it's pretty straight know where we go from here. And you would feel that way about anybody, like Taylor Swift, when she did that what do you over mean? the albums. Well, we felt like that about Travis. What happened with Travis? Well, when people felt like that about Travis. They felt like Travis incited a riot, and they wanted him to pay for it. Oh, Scott, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think it's the same thing. What do you mean about Taylor with the albums? Like when she told uh, her fans to go tell Scooter and Scott Porchetta how how they feel. By the way, you know, we we on Brilliant Idiots a while ago, Yeah, we broke that all down. Yeah. And, and I guess nobody gave a fuck, but now they've done a whole documentary about it. Yeah. yeah. Like Scooter, we've said Scooter wasn't wrong. Dude, it is so crazy the way that Taylor has framed this. The whole framing of this thing, there is a documentary on HBO right now called Bad Max Blood. Right now called Bad Blood, and it's basically one side is Taylor's side, one side is Scooter's side, and it's not even it hasn't gone number one yet. I don't hear anybody talking about it. To me, if there's a documentary done about the biggest music artists currently and the biggest music artists of all time, yeah. you think it might get some views. Why all of a sudden is it not getting views? To me, that's Taylor's team just working overtime. To silence that shit. Where is it at now? It's at Max. I know, but where? Like, where is it? Like ranked? It's not even ranked. Cause you promoted it. I went to go look it up once I saw what you said about it. I could. Yeah. Did you watch it? No, I'm not that interested. Yeah. It's, Plus, I already, I already, <laughs> re I already more, read it. I already knew. <laughs> I, I read all of this shit. Scooter did nothing wrong. He did Bro, business. No, no, it's not even business. It's and her dad got a cut. Dude, this shit is so deep. Like. So there's she her her record label was Big Machine Records. She wants her masters back. Big Machine offers a way for her to buy them back or for her to earn them back. Okay, she has six albums. One is oh, with every new album you give me, you get one back, and the other is buy them back for two hundred seventy million dollars or something like that. She goes, uh, she sends him a text message. The text message is on Big Machine's like website or something like that. She goes, hey, thank you so much for the opportunity. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to look forward to my future. Uh, that's more important to me than my past. Uh, I'm good. I'm not going to buy the records. I'm actually letting you know now that I'm going to be going and signing with Lucian Grange. That's a uh, universal. Uh, I'm going to be you know, working so hard in the future. Thank you for everything you've done to me. For me, I'm out. Peace. Okay? She announced she signed to Universal. Now, unbeknownst to the guy, Scott Porchetta, that owned Big Machine, allegedly Universal and Lucian promise Taylor that they will then buy the records back and give them to Taylor, the, 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 the rights of the records, mm -hmm. her masters. 
This has never been done before in the history of music. This is not how it works. But that's apparently a deal. That deal has not been shared with Scott Porchetta. The only people that really know about this deal, I guess, are Taylor, Taylor's team, and Universal. Okay? Once she signs with Universal and she doesn't buy her records, Scooter goes and hollers a big machine and goes, yo, can I buy these records? And, then, and he goes, yeah, why don't you make me an offer? This Scott Porchetta guy. And he goes, connect me with Taylor, see if Taylor wants to get in on this. The guy, Scott Porchetta, hits up uh, Scooter and goes, look at this text message she sent me. She's not interested in her old masters. She's worried about the future. Scooter goes, okay, I'll he, buy it. Scooter should have still reached out to her, though. Now, that's what I said. I yeah. said Scooter should have still reached out to her. But still, she's making a decision not to do it. She's verbally said to him. Now, Scott Porchetta guy, who said she's not interested in it, is looking at the situation and going, who do I want to sell the masters to? Do I want to sell them to Universal, who just fucked me and stole the biggest client I ever had and ever will have, and have him profit on all her new shit and all her old shit? Or do I want to sell them to this other guy, Scooter, who's going to give me even more money? This is a no-brainer to sell them to Scooter. Mm -hmm. Scooter buys them, and then immediately the machine starts working where it's like, this was took taken away from me without my consent. She's using all this Me Too language. First of all, none of these guys know women, by the way. It's like, you got to treat it the way you treat your wife when you ask her if she wants something to eat, and she says no. <laughs> they always you know, act like, Taylor didn't mean that shit when well, here's, she said no. Here's, here's, the thing, here's the thing I think. This is what I think. I think Taylor's team fucked up the biggest record deal in history, and instead of admitting that they fucked it up, and by mean fucked it up, didn't have in writing, signed, sealed, delivered, that they were getting the rights and the rights were already taken care of and hooked up. Uh, so they mean from, like, from Universal. For, exactly. Got you, got you. They they were just, Universal probably just said that in the room to get the deal done. Now but they, they, okay. Universal can't say, I'm going to give you the rights because they don't have the rights. Yeah. And if Taylor goes, hey, I'm signing with Universal, and by the way, they're going to buy my music from you, then Big Machine goes, well, I'm charging out the ass. So she has to say, I'm not interested in it, so that they get a lower rate. Now, things get even more conspiratorial, but whatever. My point is, Taylor, uh, Scooter goes and gets it, and she's like, they took it from under me. They stole it. You know, Somehow, she's always the victim, even though she's the victor every single time. She's the most successful artist of the greatest show I've ever seen in my entire life. Unbelievably talented, but she's you, still always You said the something that I thought was fantastic, and it's real. You said that uh, it's very rare... For somebody of with her level of success to, to, be to convince seen. people that she's a victim. It's an unbelievable yeah. manipulation. She's constantly the victim, despite being the most successful artist in history. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, biggest yeah. tour in history. And we're still all looking at her like, aw. Prince yeah, yeah, yeah. did the same thing. I, I'm, not, I'm not as familiar with Prince. I mean, it's the same thing. Biggest Prince artist in the did. world claimed that he was fucked and taken advantage of by a record label. I mean, it's... Got it. It's what people do. But well, Prince, real, Prince was, though. I don't know. No, he was. He really was. Like he, I mean, he sell all those records at that time. It was a different ball game. Then. Point. Point is. Yeah. Point is, Scooter buys the the whole record label, just not her records, but buys the whole record label. Whole record label gets purchased, right? And now it's they did it behind my back. They did it underneath my. Th they did it, and then all this like sexualized language without my consent. What do you mean without your consent? You said you weren't interested in the records. Now it's on the open market. Your team fucked you over. They got to paint. Borchetta and Scooter as bad guys so they don't lose their jobs. And you don't want to go, well, I just signed with this new record label, but they already fucked me. So I'm not going to do it. Now, my conspiracy theory is this. If I'm universal, do I pay $270 million for those old records and then just hand them over to Taylor, which is a $270 million loss, or do I go... Oopsie. Well, the it records got. Well, well, it depends how long you have Taylor under contract. If you're expecting her to be a lifelong universal artist, that's actually a good investment. Wait for it, Charlemagne. It's a good investment unless you have an idea, which is to have her re record those first six albums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you which, don't have to spend no money. Now you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, just yeah. saved $270 million. And you still get the exact same publishing you would have gotten on the older ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got a great storyline that's going to help you sell mad records in the future. And now it's, oopsie. Oh, we did, oh what a mistake. Uh, and then her whole team is working on overtime. 
You know what I mean? Like, and, and the, her whole team is aware of this. Her dad is on emails. Her dad is CCA, her manager on email. Like the whole, this idea like, oh my God, we didn't know this happened. There is an email trail of proof that everything was known. Well, somebody over there is a genius and Democrats need to hire them. They need to hire them Because those motherfuckers are good at messaging. Oh my because God. Because when I read all of the shit about Tail and Scooter, I'm like, I don't see what the actual issue they, here is, but she made it one. Yeah. And that shit worked for her, goddammit. And this shit, shit you're saying about Universal right now is brilliant on Universal's part. Oh, I mean, it's... Now, the, the risk you have is that she finds out that that was the intention the whole time, and then she leaves. But that's... And then you lose it. But then again, she's already locked in, I imagine, to a fucking sealed yeah, contract. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. she's they, not leaving. Yeah, she's they not probably, going anywhere. Yeah, they probably got her for five albums, well, something crazy. Maybe, who knows? Probably, like maybe eight. Yeah, who knows? And they probably gave her the greatest fucking deal ever. And those masters didn't fucking come. But still, you need to lock that shit in. Yeah. Her team fails to lock it in. Yeah. And then, the, of course, she goes, fuck this. And it's first fuck Scott Porchetta and Scooter. And then when it's just Scooter that people care about, now it's just fuck Scooter. What these men and the patriarchy will do. Nah. Why don't you talk about the men on your team? Yeah. To let that fucking deal fall through. Yeah. And then her dad, her dad got some money from the deal too. Her dad got 15 million from the deal. Her dad is on every email. Her dad, there's email correspondence where his her dad is CCing her, I guess, manager or one of the people on her management teams. Hey, look into these deal points. So they're aware of the deal. Also, her post about it pops up like minutes after it's announced. So you know that shit was curated. Damn. That's what I'm saying. It's like, but whatever. Nobody cares about the truth when the lies when the more, lies entertaining. more entertaining. You baby. say this all the time. It that's is right. the greatest fucking thing. And every girl that's ever got their heart broken by a dude, every girl that's ever been broken up with, every girl that's ever been not loved by someone they care they about. They rallied around Taylor. Taylor is a Taylor got hurt. They screwed her over. We gotta make sure these old records sell. Yeah, yeah they did it. And, and I'll be perfect. honest, I, I believe it's possible she doesn't even know or didn't know the truth. I believe it's possible. So you think she, she's learning from the documentary now? I don't, I think she's learned by now and now, like you're so pot committed, you're so deep into the narrative that you don't move away from it. But if you've noticed, they're like, this time is behind us and we're trying to move past it. And it's like, well, hey, you can't slander somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you, you know what I mean? tell your fans to to go tell them how you feel. Now that my man's family's getting death threats, he got kids and shit, they get right. death threats. Like, And then be like, oh, we'd like to move on. Free scooter, yo. Free scooter, Free yo. Free fucking scooter. Come on. I mean, don't get me wrong. Taylor's still the greatest artist of all time. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I got a pretty fly show I've ever seen. You want to pay some bills? Yeah, let's do it. All right. All right, let's pay some bills, man. Uh, if you've got culinary taste, you know how expensive exploring your local food scene can get or how hard it is to find the time and energy to try somewhere new. Cook Unity is the first chef to use service delivering locally sourced meals from award-winning chefs right to your door every week. And it's cheaper than other delivery options, okay? Go to cookunity.com slash idiots or enter code idiots before checkout for 50% off your first week if you want to get some of that good culinary satisfaction at your house okay listen you don't feel like going into the city walking into the restaurant to order something you just want the meal to come to your door you can get that my god no cooking required for a chef quality dining experience right at home unlike other meal services cook unity is a chef collective bringing exciting culinary talent straight to your table cook unity works with some of the best chefs in the country to bring creative delicious meals to you every week every meal is handcrafted by chefs and made in local micro kitchens not large production facilities your food arrives fresh never frozen in packaging that keeps meals fresh in the fridge for up to seven days cook unity packaging is calm Postable, recyclable, or reusable. Pick as few as four or as many as 16 meals per week, okay? Menus are posted two weeks in advance, so you have plenty of time to choose. Experience chef-quality meals every week delivered right to your door. Go to cookunity.com slash idiots or enter code idiots before checkout for 50% off your first week. That's 50% off your first week by using code idiots or going to cookunity.com slash idiots. I'm telling you, man, this service works. I've had people deliver stuff to me from restaurants that I like with services like this, and it was actually absolutely on point. Um, so, boom, try that. All right, guys, This uh, listen, this episode is also brought to you by Harry's. It's happened to all of us, but getting ripped off is no joke, especially when there are razors involved, okay? The people at Harry's were tired of seeing everyday people pay way too much for low-quality shaving products, so they found a way to make beautifully designed razors without laughably high prices. I do not know why people still pay all this money 
for these razors. They keep adding a new blade to a razor. There's no motherfucking reason why you need all these extra razors besides them just charging triple, quadruple. You can get them the exact same, maybe better quality from Harry's for a fraction of the price. Better designed, better value grooming products made by a company that forged their own path in the grooming industry. I'm, what I'm telling you, this is the real shit. German engineered blades made in their own factory that stay sharp longer, okay? Customizable delivery options for scheduled refills as low as two bucks. That's half of what you pay for with the other big brands. You don't like going to the pharmacy to get the razor blades, right? You would like it if they just ship it to you and it's cheaper. This is an absolute no-brainer. I'm telling you, the foam, the, the, the shave gel, the travel color, the, the weighted handle, okay? The five-blade razor, everything for just three bucks at harrys.com slash idiots. You get a five-blade razor, weighted handle, foaming shave gel, and a travel cover for just three bucks at harrys.com slash idiots. I truly don't know if there's a better deal in the business, okay? I'm telling you right now, Harry's has the highest customer satisfaction in the shaving industry. Just try it. No risk right here at all. You don't like your shave? No worries. It's on them. Convenient subscription options that you can cancel at any time, guys. Stop getting ripped off. With Harry's, you can get a shave that's a cut above the rest. Get started with a $13 trial set for just $3 at harrys.com slash idiots. That is harrys.com slash idiots for a $3 trial set. I don't think there will be a better deal on this show. Go do that immediately before they change it. Now let's get back to the show. Church announcement, show today. Yes, sir. We are adding second and third shows in the following cities, um, and they go on sale Wednesday at 10 a.m. I'm presuming this episode has come out after that, so they're already on sale by the time this episode comes out. But San Antonio, we had another show. Salt Lake City, we had another show. Denver, we added another show. Reno, we had another show. San Jose, we had another show. And Cincinnati, we had, we had another show. Um, we still have uh, Mohegan Sun uh, this summer. Uh, we have Atlantic City. We added another show uh, and uh, a few more cities uh, that are available, theandrewschultz.com. Those are the last cities, the last leg of the life tour. We are wrapping up in Honolulu, Hawaii, and then it is done, man. Um, and then uh, we got to get that special out. So very excited about that. But if you want to see it before it finishes, come to one of those cities on the website, theandrewschultz.com. We also got Portland in there. We got a few more. Those are the last chances. Cleveland, Columbus, I will see you all there. Peace. I'm definitely pulling up the Atlantic City. What's the Atlantic City date again? It is the 24th of August. 24th, it's a Friday, right? Uh, Saturday. No, Saturday. The 25th, is that it? August 24th. August Amazing 24th. date night. Got to put that in now so we have the uh, the nanny. Yes, sir. Um, my church announcements, get honest with that line, why small talk sucks. It's available everywhere that you purchase books now. Uh, go get that. And, um, yo, thank you to everybody. Salute to uh, everybody who just goes to visit blackeffect.com, man, and they be buying merchandise off Black Effect, man. I be seeing people with the T-shirts and the hats, man, and I really appreciate that. It's, it's, it's an ill feeling when you just are out and about and you see people, like, <laughs> rocking your rocking shit. Rocking the content. It's dope. Yeah. I, I, got, I, I told y'all when I went to the, when I was in L.A., at Barnes and Nobles, like it was mad people in there with rich broke shirts on, rich broke merchandise, mad people in there with heavies, heavy merchandise. Gang. You know what I'm saying? Like Do it. that shit just dope to me. Are you walking through the airport in 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 other in, in another country and you see people reading your book? You're like, oh shit. Are you on the plane and somebody reading your book? You're like, oh shit. Or like I was walking uh this was a while ago though, but I was walking out the radio station and this guy, he was a uh, he worked for the city. He, he wasn't doing that. <laughs> He, was, he worked for the I tooted, city. I tooted. Taylor, my bad. And he goes, yo! I'm watching idiots right now. Fucking He's gosh. on the phone watching idiots. That's or maybe no, tough. actually that was when we got did flagrant. He was watching flagrant that week. That's he showed fire. it to me. That was a great app. So, yeah, man. Just appreciate y'all, man. Thank you very much. Uh, and shout shout out. out to my mom. It's her birthday today. Hey! Oh, the, the day we're recording it is her birthday. Yeah. By the time this comes out, she been got my basket. My charcuterie. I sent her. I sent her some charcuterie and cheese. All right. And you want to know? Hold on. I'm gonna I'm show you something because hey, Taylor think I be bullshitting. But hey, what's in that? What's in that charcuterie basket? What I say? Sausage. 
No, read the whole thing. Summer sausage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, look. Yeah. Coming. What? 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 Fuck him up. <laughs> Fuck him up. <laughs> um, this is coming no. December. You guys will also guys be able to possibly purchase some of my mama's pie. So. No way. Hey. Yeah. Nah, me and mom going to talk about that. Excuse me? Why are you calling her mom? That's my mom. <laughs> What's for, what I'm supposed to go and say her name on the podcast? Uh, Miss, Mrs. Hayes is what you could say. Okay, Miss Hayes. That's what I call her, Miss Hayes. Hayes. Man, Taylor's mom hits harder. Taylor's mom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Taylor, you don't say Miss A- uh, Miss Hayes pie is cool. But Taylor's, Taylor's mom's, mom's pie? Woo! It, just, it just feels warmer. You know why you say that? Because of what's the uh, American Chris Pie? Steakhouse. Because of what but is his name? Jackie. Oh, Stifler's mom. Stifler's mom. Stifler's mom. But, <laughs> yeah. nah, it just feels warmer. You know Stop. what I'm saying? It, it does. does. It does. Miss Hayes' pie. It's like, eh. Yeah. She's a cool woman that lives in the neighborhood. Taylor's mom's Taylor's pie. Taylor's mom's pie, though? You God gotta damn. go have that. I gotta try it. Ooh. <laughs> uh. Whatever. This is all promotion, so. Pie crazy. is probably thick. <laughs> <laughs> that pie is thick. Mm, melt in your mouth. <sighs> <laughs> Melt in your uh. mouth, not in your hand. Yo, shout out to the Hawk Tour girl. Yeah. What happened? What happened? What happened? Oh, you ain't see what's up with the Hawk Tour girl? I don't believe any of this, but she you got know. her first like paid gig and she oh, got no, that, I seen that reality show. Maybe it, um, it's, that's not gonna happen though. <laughs> that's what they're saying. Nah, she got to get this money immediately. This yeah. money drying up after the summer. Yeah. You got two months to make your money. Wait, and wait. she got hats made. Things drying up in July. No, nah, I'm just saying, if you really want to make some money, nah. hop to a girl. Only fans. <laughs> hop to it. That's all I'm saying. Hop to then, it. Then trust us. That TV shit gonna take a while. Oh yeah. Okay? yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. But shit, that marketing you did for yourself. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yay, man. Yeah, that's fantastic. You know, by the way, if I was you, hop to a girl. I'm not even joking. I would really do this. Make a website. Called throatgold.com. Oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Throatgold.com. Charge a dollar. Just when I thought you couldn't be any smarter. Charge <laughs> a dollar for everybody to see it. Like and, and and advertise it like, yo, you wanna see me at work? You wanna see me do what I what I do best? Oh my god. One dollar right now. What was her first job though? You subscribe to it, she makes a whole bunch of money. Everybody got to click on it at the same time, though. So everybody got to subscribe. And you said, 6 o'clock, we go live. After 6 o'clock, you're not going to see it. It's only up for 30 minutes. You make your money. And then when you click on, it's just the same Hawk Tour video. <laughs> it's, just, it's just the same Hawk Tour video, baby. And hey, look, she already met Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, we saw that. I got to hit Shaq asking about Shaq that. is a menace, yo. He really is. <laughs> I mean, there is not... Who goes after more Instagram yeah. or social media popping women than, than Shaq? Shout out Shaq, bro. What happened with the Home Depot young lady? When he got that? No, he went right oh, to... He went yeah. to Home I Depot right after. That. <laughs> went to Home Depot? Yeah. Yeah, he went to Home Depot right after. There was another one that he did that too. How you just randomly run into the Hawk Tour, girl, Shaq? Shaq Diesel, bro. Come Shaq, on, Shaq, no, come on. It's a champion. Look how he's ways me. Ugh, Lloyd. Why do they hate him, bro? You are hating. Here's the illest thing I'm about hating, Shaq. But no, it's just like there, you just said. Listen, like, listen, you Shaq does all Shaq of this, and it seems like so yeah, endearing. Why would I? But but remember this, right? I heard he's not that. Hold on. Remember hold on. this, and I'm not with his hater. hater, and I'm, I'm not, not with, I'm not wishing this on any man, <laughs> no man. But just keep in mind when he when when we see him now, everybody laughs and it's so endearing. Yada yada yada. Let him, let some shit happen. Oh, it's gonna be. Let a somebody war do. Pass. Let somebody yeah. do a bullshit allegation against Shaq. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, they going back and like, I knew it when I saw this picture. Oh. And isn't that? Oh. Cause that's just how y'all are. Nah. You know. I mean, it's a creep face. Oh God. See, see how she didn't even out, think that thirty seconds yes, ago. Yes, I did. What <laughs> she are you talking about? Thirty seconds ago, she didn't even think what that. What are you talking about? You this whole time, y'all been saying I'm a hater. Shaq's so, a national treasure. You salute to Shaquilla. I love Shaq, but this is a creep face that he's making. That's is not it a not? creep face? On purpose. Exactly. He looks tired. And I'm just shut the fuck He just got the. He looks. He looks sad. Nah, he got the hawk to his eyes. He looks sad to me. His eyes are still rolled in the back of his head. So Drake. So Drake looks sad at my room party, but Shaq, Shaq looks sad right That's here. That's literally you know. two different faces are making. She looks sad. <laughs> what are y'all talking about? Shaq is about? like, oh my she, God. She dude. would love if Shaq came to Brooklyn to take a picture like that with her. Oh, Why? She would love it. Why would I want that? You would love that. Why would I want 
that that by the way if she makes this you picture worse like than Shaq does Why? because the fact that she's the Hawk to a girl people are assuming all of these nasty and creepy no, stuff and about Shaq Shaq probably was just DJ at a party that's that it. this woman happened to come up to he probably had no idea who this girl was until later yeah. like nah, oh yeah. you know that was the Hawk to a girl and he was like oh shit nah Shaq knows exactly you just, Shaq knows exactly <laughs> what? So. how did you just change Everybody. your hand and find free it? Shaq yeah free Shaq <laughs> All right, free, free Shaq. All right, just, okay. How did you just change the name? What else we got? Three Taylor minutes. Gang. Shout out to the Hawk Tour girl. I do. I mean, if you listen, if she gets a reality show from this, congrats. I don't. Yeah, I don't know what the reality show would be about, but I mean, she seems like she's got a bubbly personality. Did y'all see the? I sent it to you. Oh, no, I put it in the group chat the what? whole video of the interview. Huh? Oh, I did. Y'all I didn't, didn't, I didn't see the difference. Uh, we watched it. Um, what else we got? Taylor Gang. Um, there's a trash revolution coming, y'all. What is a uh, trash revolution? <laughs> Shout out to New York. <laughs> this is we really the greatest, bro. <laughs> New York City man, the Mayor first Adams official trash. How to use a garbage can. He got to do a whole tutorial to teach New Yorkers how to use a why garbage can. Up? New York never had trash bins? Nah. That's why Wait, all the trash really? just be piled up on the street like that? Yeah. Yeah. I never thought That's about it. That's why there's rats everywhere. I never fucking thought about it. But either way, it. people are still going to throw the trash in the street. Like, oh, this bro, is them not rats still get in the trash can. Yeah. I, I got trash bins at the house right now, and I don't know what the fuck animal keep getting that shit. It's I a think raccoon. it's wash. How are they going to do that for uh, restaurants? Because like, exactly. it's really restaurants <laughs> the ones that have all Let me tell you something about a trash bin. You're going to need 30 of those trash bins. Exactly. Yeah. Let me tell you something. You know how when, but before uh, daylight savings time, when it still be kind of dark mm-hmm. out, bro? This is the reason I never put out shit in the trash no more at nighttime. I don't think I I walked to the trash bin one time and I opened that motherfucker. And you remember that shit Ellen did with Diddy when that shit just popped out? Ooh, I to this day, I, I'm pretty sure it was a raccoon, but raccoons look spooky in the yeah, dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, they yeah. already gray. And Miles wouldn't be able to see him. <laughs> All Miles would see is the fucking black mask. <laughs> All I saw was that shit pop out the trash can and I took the fuck off. <laughs> what did I, I took the fuck off. Damn. Let me tell you something. When I say I took the fuck off, I took the fuck off. You can have it, bro. I left the bag on the side of the trash can. All that shit. What was faster? That when you took off there or when someone hit you to try and get a drop? Definitely the raccoon. It wasn't even close. I didn't want no parts of that raccoon. Yo. You know what I'm saying? I at least thought about fighting with the drop. That, <laughs> that raccoon, whatever. Because I didn't know what it was. She just jumped out. I'm like, oh, yeah. shit. And as you running, you're like, that was a fucking raccoon. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? But well, once you get to safety, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Once you get to safety and get yeah. your bearings, you're like, yo, that was a fucking raccoon, yo. Never again. And I was thinking that shit probably was in there all night long. But no, I thought, I thought you were used out. to that in, like, Monk's Corner. Isn't nah, bro, you don't thing? get used to raccoons. You leave them shit the fuck alone. Raccoons are dangerous. Yeah. No. You don't play with no fucking also, raccoons. Also, anytime you see an animal you're not expecting to. No, terrifying. exactly. At six in the fucking morning? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got, Taylor? Okay? Um, Suit the Mayor Eric Adams, man. Dr. Lamar said, Mayor Eric Adams, there's no way he's getting reelected. Man, why not? Um, The migrant issue. He thinks the migrant issue. I think that shit is not I think bad. it's the Biden issue. That's the problem. But that's what he said. He said that he feels like people like Mayor Adams are risking their political careers for a Democratic agenda. No, the opposite. What you think? I mean, I don't know. It's pretty obvious, right? Like, he was on this, like, board of people that were supposed to support Biden. And then he came out critical of Biden, I think, because of the migrant issue. And then immediately after that... He gets federally investigated for bribes from the Turkish embassy. I can see that. Biden can't now, be... If, but, you, if you can't... I mean, I think we know where that came from. I think they're like, behave. Well, Biden can't be too mad. But Biden did the same even thing. Biden is the puppeteers. I get it. I get it. It's I like, you're it. supposed to behave and you're supposed to do a good job. And I you didn't it. do a good job. So now we're looking into you taking money from Turkey. I get it. Mm. Shit. Who made that's that? how, like, but that's what I'm saying. Like, that's that's the thing about the Democrats is they act like they're these like pious, righteous, virtuous. Yeah, like, you're right. still doing the grimy political shit. They so then just be grimy. They won't even be honest about Biden. I respect all the Democrats that are coming out now saying these things and asking questions. I think it's too late, but at least they are. Everybody else that's still lying, <laughs> you know, acting like American people don't see what we see, you're crazy. <sighs> You're crazy. What else we got, Taylor? Um, Taylor Gang. This is based off of Bronny getting uh, drafted. Oh, yeah. We haven't talked about Bron- the Bronny. This is a funny thing. take of Dr. Umar. What is the Bronny? Let's talk about it. 
Do you want to see what he said? We talked about this on Breakfast Club. Do I like. The, I get what Dr. Umar is saying, but he uh, he said he also said Bron, he said Bronny will never be looked at as like a hero. That. And I go, well, what about Kobe and MJ? Yeah. And he goes, it's the difference between getting looked at as a goat in basketball and being looked at as a hero. Yeah, that's fair. Is that yeah? Now he wasn't right. He wasn't I don't think Bronny's trying to be a hero. I think he's trying to play in the league. Yeah. I'm not, what do you think? What about Bronny? Bronny getting drafted by the Lakers. I. Here's the thing. ain't nepotism. Here's the thing. No, no, no. It's not even nepotism. The most important factor in this entire thing is not nepotism. It is money. Bronny is going to sell out every single game for the G League Lakers team. Every game. If you don't draft, there is no 55th pick or whatever the fuck the pick the, the Lakers had that is going to generate more revenue, more jersey sales, more eyeballs for TV than Bronny James. So any team has to pick him because if you don't pick him, you're losing money. But it's going to be more so because LeBron and... Now, the reason he will generate LeBron money is... LeBron don't play in the G League, Taylor. No, yeah, he's not, he didn't play the G League. LeBron is LeBron is playing for the Lakers. The G League is the developmental league. But, of course, the reason why it's exciting is because he's LeBron's son. But if he was LeBron's son, he wouldn't make any money for the franchise? Okay, then you don't have to do it. But he's going to be making so much fucking money for them. So it's a no-brainer. So everybody's chalking it up to this nepotism thing. Of course, yes, playing with a dad is cool. It's a good storyline. But he's going to make way more money than they're actually paying him. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's a no-brainer to it. I'll tell you this, man. I don't want to hear nobody upset about Bronny James because LeBron James is a powerful person mm. who put himself in a position of power. Mm. He put his guys in a position of power, mm. Rich Paul and all of them. Rich Paul is the most powerful agent in basketball. LeBron James is still the most powerful player in basketball, and he was able to get his, 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 his son a spot on the roster. But that ain't even... Imp- that's impressive. JJ Redick is the head coach. Gang. It's more impressive. Gang. So y'all wasn't, I don't understand y'all making more noise about Bronny. Bronny played at least a year at USC. He was a McDonald's high school All-American. He's more, he has more of a shot of being an NBA player than JJ Redick no. does as being the head coach of the Lakers. Stop, stop, stop. Nah. JJ's a great white hope, bro. But the Lakers? A great white hope. Your chain what? is on the mic. Oh, not the Lakers, bro. You guys, great way It yeah, started. Well, what, what, what could Charlotte? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They changed it right there. The Lakers. Yeah, that's it. Great white God, hope, damn. bro. But you never know. <laughs> All I'm simply saying is... If you watch that pod, the pod looks like he knows what the fuck he's talking I, about. I've said it on here a million times. That there's not a. I don't think there's a more brilliant basketball mind. I haven't heard one. I can't even listen to J.J. Redick and LeBron James podcast because it's, it's too fucking It's too eyebrow. That shit is for players. Yeah. That shit is for high school players, college players, pro players. I like listening to it because yeah. you learn things, but yeah. that shit ain't for me. Yeah. If he's able to get that man the head coaching job, that's way more impressive than getting Bronny a spot on the roster, bro. Hmm. <laughs> like, getting Bronny a spot on the roster is cool. I respect it. Salute to you. Love seeing it. Well, J.J. Reddick, your podcast host? Yeah. That's a Tubi movie. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fucking Tubi. By the way, bro, I went on a Tubi rabbit hole <laughs> on vacation. Talk to me. You got to watch this one show called I Got a Story to Tell. <laughs> what is that's it? It's annoying. It's an anthology <laughs> series, man. And they got two episodes. Just please watch the episode Gas Station Pills with Young Jock. That (laughs) shit is incredible. Jock, I don't know who convinced you to play an ugly motherfucker. Because you had some in in the script, you had to be ugly to play the role. And he takes these gas station pills that make him fine. And that's all I'm telling you. (laughs) Ronnie Jordan. Ronnie. You delivered so much comedic. I mean, I la- when I say I laughed so fucking <laughs> much. Go to Tubi, watch. I got a story to tell. Yo, it's only forty four minutes. Hilarious, yo. Huh? Fucking like I'm doing a Tubi movie, yo. 
I'm telling you right now, I'm doing a Tubi. Well, I, I got a movie that's coming out on Tubi. Really? Yeah, yeah. What, is, like, is it directed like a Tubi movie, though? No. See, I don't want that. Yeah, I don't. You I want, want the my thing. to be like a Tubi movie. <laughs> Salute to Snoop Films that did I Got a Story to Tell. I'm telling you, I want to do a Tubi movie like Tubi. <laughs> Straight up. I don't even want guns. I want to use my fingers. Pow, pow, pow. Pow, pow, pow. Be shooting at people from your fingers, ducking and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want. Watch. We're going to do a fucking Breakfast Club murder mystery. Oh, what? That's fire, actually. <laughs> that's Straight fire. Up. Like a, a whodunit, a yes. clue section? Yes. We're going to do a Breakfast Club murder mystery. Yo. yo. <laughs> Remember yeah. when we thought that guy was dead that morning? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> there was a guy we like, thought was dead, yo. Fat dude just sleep. No. He was just old. He was just old. Oh, he was just laid, just laid out. out. And I'm like, oh, we kept, shit. He kept saying, like, hello. Like, he was not answering. I was treating him like that fucking raccoon <laughs> in the trash. <laughs> but I, it, but it, it was like I knew he was in the trash. So I was sneaking up on him, like, Hur. and he wouldn't back. wake up. The motherfucker no. would not move, man. He would not move. He thought he was dead. He wasn't so what breathing. Happened? He ended up waking up. I think he was ignoring us. Yeah, yeah, we started calling. We started calling the station he worked at. A bunch of different stuff. We tried. We were trying to figure it out. Cause I'm like, yo, who? Like, and then do we call it? Should we call the medics? No, like dead serious for real. Straight up. And then after about two hours, which was probably probably was dead already, if we had waited that long. <laughs> yeah, y'all didn't care. He yeah, just didn't care. I had a show to do. Yeah, he, just, he just, I had to come back and forth. Yeah. That's right. And then he just woke up like, oh. And it was some type of medication he was on that had him passed Take out for two out, hours. But he looks like the guy from Scary Movie when he goes, grab my hand. He does. Oh. <laughs> he does. He does. He does. He does. Let's do some asking idiots, man. Let's do it. Let's do some asking idiots, man. Jono underscore beaten says, if you could invent a new conspiracy theory, what would it be? What do you mean, if I could? <laughs> you, <laughs> it's you your first time burning? listening to the show? Exactly. Yeah. What are you um, talking about? Okay, new conspiracy theory. Um, Biden is alive. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> what do you yes, think about that jerk. one? Yeah. Well, he, Biden's actually alive. What do you think about that? That's a good one, Taylor. Oh my God. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you got? If I could invent a new conspiracy theory, what would it what be? About y'all too. What would y'all do? Uh, about us? Well, I was gonna say my mine would be if I could invent a new conspiracy theory, what would it be? John F. Kennedy wasn't assassinated. Ooh. Yeah. What was it? He just Ooh. he just went out for a little ride, wanted to clear his head. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He's so annoying. B underscore the Don <laughs> underscore says, "What's the most important political policy for both of you?" Uh, I don't know if it's a political policy, but for me, man, it's just upper mobility, man. I want to see people doing good. Black <laughs> rights. I'm not mad at that one. Oh. Joe Biden, step it up. Let's bleep that because uh, yeah, somebody will take like... that, isolate that one shit. <laughs> All right, let me try again. White rights. <laughs> okay, whoever's going to give us more than the blacks, you got my vote. Stupid, man. <laughs> Mine is upper mobility for real. I want everybody to be financially good and, and and I want people to be safe. Mm. That's those are my two things. I don't know I I don't know if those are considered policies, but mm. I want everybody to be able to have food on their table, a roof over their head and I want us to feel safe as a society. Mm. Those and are health. the well, I mean, all of that falls under the financial thing, right? Because, you know, if you got some money, then you can afford your health care and all of that good stuff like that, you know? You shouldn't have to pay for health care. You shouldn't. Why but not? This is America. Because we're humans. I don't. I feel like shit happens. I don't feel like we should have to pay. For, it's like paying for water. We should have to pay for water. Why not? We shouldn't have to pay for fucking water, yo. Wait, why should we have to I pay think for about this shit every time I... By the way, every time I go to, like, islands and shit, or I be out in nature, I be thinking about that. God gave us everything we needed on this planet to survive and thrive, and we found a way to fuck it up through capitalism. You really shouldn't have to pay for water, bro. Here's, here's an argument. Uh... Are there certain restrictions on the growth or like having animals, growth of crops or having animals, et cetera? 
I don't think so. Like, let's say, for example, uh, New York said you can't have a, a farm in the city. Right? Well, you can't. Where would you put it? Well, Central I, Park? Again, I don't know. But, like, yeah. let's say, for, they, for example, they made it illegal to have a farm in the city. If they said that, I'd be like, all right, well, then you have to, uh, you have to government regulation, you have to give me food. You're restricting my ability to make my own food, make my own produce, make my own chickens, whatever. If you make it illegal for me to feed myself, you got to feed me. Mm -hmm. You can't make it illegal for me to feed myself just so I can buy shit from you. Yeah. Okay. So I I think there is something to that. Now, when it comes to getting, you know, free food or free whatever the fuck it is, if you restrict my ability to do something myself, then you have to, uh, what's it called? It uh, we was in the grocery. We was in the grocery store in Anguilla. Uh, It's called Best Buy, and Nyla (laughs) asked for some aloe vera, Hmm. and the woman said. Go get it from outside. There's a tree right there. There's yeah. a tree right fucking there. Yeah. And that's I'm, what you did. I'm sick of these city folk don't know about an aloe. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's Break like, off the leaf and you just rub it. I remember I got a bad sunburn in Puerto Rico. It's once. unbelievable, bro. Yeah. Same thing with Southside. We leave in a restaurant. My homegirl, uh, AJ, salute to AJ from We Talk Back podcast. She has to drive her like, yo, where's the sour sop? You know, every time we go there, we get sour sop. And um, what's that? Oh, it's a fruit. One of the most beneficial healthiest fruits, helps fight cancer, it makes your immune system better. It's, a, it's just incredible. The guy pulled over. He's like, oh, we're passing my house right now. Pulled right over, jumped out, picked some sour sop off the tree, got some leaves, gave them to her. Wow. That's like, come on, man. That's what I'm saying. So if you can do that yourself, if that's legal to do, then yeah, we, it's on us to do it. Yeah, man. You have a community garden, you know, you have different... Well, what about the water? Like, you really don't think we should have water for free? So what I would say is if you restrict my ability to get water from somewhere, in other words, if you say to me, Andrew, you have a property in Brooklyn, but you're not allowed to build a well. Mm-hmm. You must mm. get water from the city. I would go, all right, well, you got to pay for it. Because I could dig a well right here and get my water. If you're saying that's illegal and I have to get water through you, I'm going to need y'all to cough it up, subsidize it. You can't bully me into paying you for shit that I could get out the ground. Mm-hmm. So that's that's what I would say. when it comes. Whereas like electricity, I can't get that out the ground. I need you for electricity, so I'll pay for it. And low key, like you're doing me a favor even bringing the pole over by me to get the electricity. But if you restrict shit that it just exists... Like, if they said, for example, you can't collect like, rainwater, I'd be like, well, now you got to pay for my water. Mm. Uh-huh. Don't that. you think that kind of is fair? Yeah, I see that. But it doesn't rain all the time. Like, I don't know. I just feel like water specifically is shouldn't I don't think you should have to pay for water. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 I shouldn't have to pay for nothing I can produce myself. Yeah, that's what we're saying. But if they restrict your ability to produce it, then they, they can't should... stop me from peeing? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you don't pee more than you drink. Yeah. I don't know about that. You can't drink and can't. pee. can't. I think you... Pro- it's probably the same, because every time you drink, you got to pee. You could process it. <laughs> yeah, but then you're going to get less and less exactly. every time, and then you're going to be dehydrated. Yeah. You nah, need someone you can drink else your pee, pee straight up. You need someone else. No, to you can't. You never took a shot of your own pee? <laughs> nope. Never? No. Never. You never, never. peed with a boner and it, just, it hits your lips? No. You never put a little pee in your eye because you had a pink eye? Why would the pee that hit would your probably lips if you peed? Pee- no, what? I can't. <laughs> what do you mean? Why would the pee hit his lips if he's peeing in the toilet? You with a boner. His boner. Okay. His boner's point up for some reason. This is weird. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, you're not gonna yeah. pause that. You're not gonna pause that. You're he's, 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 he's gonna say like he's he, seen it. He's, no, he's told me. He's told me. Bones point down like a horse. <laughs> drip, drip, drip. <laughs> it drip, shit, drip, drip. It shit, it shit go down. Drip, drip, drip. Nah, mine's is straight. Nah, his shit go down. <laughs> I really don't care. My, you know, <laughs> I'm saying. Wait, you never seen a real boner? They what? go up. If you're laying down. No, sure. if you're standing up, they go up. That mine's straight. What do you mean? They go up. That's a, hold on. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You have a you know, What do you sound like Meek Mill? What do you mean? They go up. <laughs> Get up. Jelly, you never seen a boner before? I have, they go and they up. don't go up. What are you talking they about? They literally go up. They're like that. So uh. basically, he has a curve. That's what he's saying. Yeah, but uh, okay. up now. Nah, it's weird. I don't have a curve. I got this straight up. <laughs> you have weird sideways dicks. 
<laughs> you're not even getting good dick, low key. Yeah. No disrespect. First but of you're all, not getting sideways dick. dick is great. What are you talking that's about? That's because you never had the straight. She like that Philly dick <laughs> for real. Everybody on that lean, so that's what the dick do. <laughs> it leans had, to the left. I haven't had a Philly guy in a long time. Um, Gwanga <laughs> says, how do you cut out family from your life that aren't good for your mental health? Which scissors, motherfucker. Okay? <laughs> you know what I mean? You Make sure you. they never get a passport. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> 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 Man, this is why I love Brendan and listen. I posted that video from Anguilla earlier. It's mad people in the comments, but did you take your brothers though? <laughs> <laughs> did you take your brothers though? <laughs> Yo, you, got, uh, you got a passport? Nah. Just checking. Hey man, <laughs> I, I think I I reserve the right to cut out anybody from my life who's not good for my mental health. I, I think distance is the most important thing Ooh. you can give to a person that is not good for your mental health. You know, because you're not saying that you don't fuck with them. You're not saying you don't like them. Yeah. You're just saying I'm going to distance myself. You know what I mean? And and let you go go on about your merry way. Yeah. Or can you answer these two? Which one? This one. All right, these be the last two. Uh, Flashman James, do you think screamers are going to stay around for a while or disappear like Vine stars? That is a good... A lot of Vine stars turned into... That is a good question. Um, I think screamers have more longevity. And the reason I think screamers have more longevity because you tend to fall in love with the personality of the screamers. Screamers are just personalities, bro. Like, I mean, like, you, what Kai Sinatra is doing, what Act is doing, what any Ninja, any of those guys. Is Ninja still around? Yeah. Ninja's still around, right? Those, those guys are just personalities at the end of the day. It's just that they're, you know, distributing their personality through a different platform. You know, like, you're used to seeing personalities on television. You're used to seeing them on radio. You're used to hearing them on podcasts. Screaming is just a new thing. You know, 12 years ago, 13 years ago, people would have been asking the same question about podcasters. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It, it's, yeah, it's a long, it's a larger dedication of time, though. I think that's the barrier for entry, is like the really effective streamers stream for hours on end. Yeah, yeah, and Some yeah. stream just the whole fucking day. Yeah. Uh, Vine is three seconds. TikTok stars, like you can see the influencer trend starting to fall apart. And it's not this falling apart, but it's like anytime like something is easy and people make a lot of money doing it, it attracts everybody. And then once everybody does it, there's less money for everybody, and then it kind of dies. But the, but, the, but the most talented people will be around. The most talented people innovate, they yeah. change, they do cool shit. The thing with streaming, which is different than like TikTok, you know, doing the dancing or the modeling or these types of things, is that you need to do that shit for eight hours straight. Not a lot of people are willing to dedicate that time. Yeah. And so you're already gonna shrink the amount of people willing to give it a try. Everybody would lip sync or dance or take a shirt off or do whatever for for views. And if you found out you could make millions of dollars doing that shit, you're like, fuck yeah, I'll do it. And if people can, if people are willing to invest that type of time into you, like they staying around, they're building a deep connection. 100%. Regardless of if they staying for eight hours at a time, but they're coming back and forth for so, those eight hours. Yeah, you people like that have no choice but to be around because people are too invested in them. Yeah, I think streaming is is not going anywhere. I say it's it's not it's it, like you said it's not as frivolous as some of these other things. And, and uh, like what you said, do you think screamers are going to stay around? The only other thing I would say is 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 the demo, because you do outgrow things as a consumer. Mm. But I think uh, to what Taylor said earlier about some of the Vine stars, I I, I personally believe somebody like a Kai Sinat can can evolve. Yo, and go, whether it's acting, whether yeah, he's it's talented, whether it's a hosting a variety show, I just think there's other things that he'll be able to do. You make a great point. I think streaming will always exist. I think that there'll be a lot of new streamers that continue to come up because as people age out of stream, in order to watch streaming, you need a lot of free time. Kids have free time. Adults yeah. just don't have free time, right? So I would imagine the majority of the people consuming the content in the actual live stream our children and the adults that are fans are watching more clips or a YouTube thing somebody puts out, et cetera, that is referencing it. So unless you age up with your audience and change what you do as your audience ages out of the stream, you might lose fan base and then yeah. it moves. So the talented ones will always innovate. That's just how it works. And diversify. Like I yeah. like, I think act did a very good job of being a streamer. Yep. And then I think, you know, launching the podcast was perfect. Exactly. You know, because exactly. now you're establishing yourself as a 
personality. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you are. We we know you had personality because we've been watching you. But now on, you're an interviewer as well. Exactly. You're developing new skill sets. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Smart. And I and I think Kai is doing the same thing. Kai hasn't, you know, started another platform outside of streaming like like Ak has because Ak does the podcast and streaming. They've done like they've done different types of streams, and he's always theming his stuff. The it's sketch almost, stuff I think is really. It's good. almost like a reality yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, he's yeah, adding yeah, like yeah. reality elements. You've seen this streamer Speed do it. Like he's doing this global tour. And it's a really <laughs> brilliant way to like galvanize audiences around the world because it's like okay, here I'm in Poland and now I'm in Italy yeah. and now I'm in Croatia. And it's like you're basically becoming the world streamer by doing it, and. uh yeah, it's just really smart. So the guys that are really smart and effective and innovative will always succeed. They'll figure something out. Has yeah. Kai been in movies? I don't know. Not yet, but it's coming. I was like, like it's yeah, definitely I, I know Kevin Hart's going to try to I already you. knew. You know Kevin putting them in <laughs> He's something. He's seeing it. I do wonder about the Vine star. Only Vine star I can remember was... Wasn't well, DC, DC Young Fly was on Vine, DC if I'm Young not mistaken. And, um, King, ba King Batch. King Bach. King Batch. Um... The, I'm trying to think of people who 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 kept going. Who, Drees, uh, I think Logan Paul. Not Drees, was on was Vine. Logan like, Paul was on Vine. I think so. Yeah, he was. Yeah. But who the guy we had? He was a we don't give Logan and Jake enough credit, man. Yeah, man. Just the way they were able to go from internet personalities to full fledged stars. Like you have to develop an art. Like you have to. You can say whatever you want about Logan, but you can't say that he's bad at wrestling. He's dedicated the time to be good at the thing. Same thing with Jake. Jake in boxing. He is yeah. dead. So they're not doing like influencer boxing. They're or influencer at WWE. You know, when like you see a famous person yeah, that pops yeah, in yeah, for a second, yeah, yeah. you're yeah. seeing actually skilled talent, passionate execution. That's right. And that is the difference between the influencers. And the stars. Same thing with the DC. I I, I think that Jess hilarious too. I give them all that credit because I remember watching them. I fell in love with all the mentors. Cardi. It Cardi. Yeah, exact. She she dedicates to the music. If you That's don't right. have an art, you flame out quick and nobody really gives a puck. It's as simple as that. You gotta find one thing. Or, and, it, and by the way, that's the advice I give anybody, even people that aren't screaming influence. Find one thing you wanna do. Yep. I met this cool kid at the airport uh yesterday. He was 18 years old, tall as shit. He's a boxer. Yeah. And he was just talking to me, and he was like, man, you got any advice for me? And I told him, I said, yo, find one thing yep. it is that you want to do. Same yep. if I get that advice to everybody. Find one thing. I don't care what it is. He's a boxer. Find one thing you want to do. Dedicate to that. Focus on that. I promise you everything else will fall into place. Because that is, that is how you stop going down the influencer trap. Because now that the influencers aren't making the money that they used to, they're not getting the attention they used to, they're starting to realize that the jig is kind of up. Jig is up. And what do you do when the jig is up? You have to do more extreme things to get the attention. Oh, That's my God. Cool. So you, if you're a girl, you start doing OnlyFans. You used to be able to just take pictures in your bikini. That don't work anymore. That's not getting the same clicks. You're not getting the same brand deals. The money's low. You already bought three Lamborghinis. You got to find a way to pay for them. Wow. And OnlyFans. And then you start just naked on the OnlyFans. And then the money starts to dry up there. Now you're taking dick on the OnlyFans. Can you imagine <laughs> sucking dick on OnlyFans only to get upstaged by a person who didn't even suck a dick, just describe dick sucking in such a pure Talk to way Talk to yeah, that it captivated the world? Yeah. That shit would piss me the fuck off. 100%. I'm out here really sucking this dick. 100%. I'm out here really spitting on these motherfuckers, come all down my throat, yep. you know what I'm saying? Yep. Jerking off Please the motherfuckers, cut this, smelly anybody. balls and shit. Yep. <laughs> Meanwhile, this young lady just, talking just about described it. it. Romantically. Woo. That's the difference between art. Is she getting a TV show? She needs something. Damn. She needs you know something, gonna bro. Cut, that. cut what? I am actually, I'm going to cut that part. Why? Cut what? No, as in like, I'm going to make it just isolate sucking dick and everything else you were saying. All right. Okay, Taylor. If that makes you feel better about it does. yourself. No, I already know what I'm going to do with it. The Hawk Tool girl still doing better than you. <laughs> um. <laughs> First of all, says who? You said you suck too. I said says who. Oh, <laughs> I thought you said. Jesus I was Christ. like, damn. You just reduced yourself yeah. to that. I, I, suck too. I suck too. Suck too. Suck <laughs> too. You want to be the suck too girl? Taylor's <laughs> yeah, a suck too girl. I didn't even say that. We're not about to make that a thing. That's what you just said. God, Stop. Suck I said. <laughs> yo, that's what you said. I literally did not say that. Suck too. 
Ooh, that'd be a great. Somebody make that on Mortal Kombat. I Suck sure Tour can. versus Hawk Tour. Taylor versus the <laughs> Hawk Tour. Yes, Suck Tour versus Hawk Tour. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's Sub Zero Scorpion. Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh my God, you're annoying. All right, as always. Uh, it, what you what? I want you to answer that one. I thought that was a good way to end. Which one you want us to answer? Fine. Yeah, as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace.